We are live. What's up, everybody? Hope all is well. Happy Friday. We are rocking and rolling and answering questions. This is the new live. This is, I think, round three of the live. Going over the questions that you guys have, trading related. Pull up to the YouTube live. If you're watching on IG, pull up to the YouTube live. That's where I have a Zoom link. Click the Zoom link and I'll get it here and I'll answer your question. You don't have to show your face. It's just us Q&A about anything trading related. So let's make that happen. Let's go. Let me shut the comments off on the IG. YouTube, welcome to the show. Let me pull this down and let's rock and roll. IG fam, join the YouTube. Join the YouTube. Let's go. So before we even start, I saw the fall on crypto. I saw the messages coming in saying, Professor, wow, how did you know? People, I, I, it's, it's simple. It's just the charts. It's just, I'm going to keep my eye over here so I can see if anyone joins. But what's up, uh, Sal? At Ramadan Mubarak to you too, my brother. So here's the question for you, right? You, all I say is just hit sell. I, where did I put it? Here. You guys saw it. I posted on my stories. It's something I'm working on. It's going to be fixed. It's too long. But a poster. It's made of cloth that says just hit sell. One mentor, one strategy, one God. And it shows the different levels, right? One of the most difficult things about a trader is, by the way, this will be given free to uh, 2025. I'm doing a swag bag. So this will be part of the swag bag. One thing of many things I'm going to give. This, this. I don't think we need this if you have this. So, and other things. But point being, this shirt. Just hit sell is a philosophy that I created because at the end of the day, and you can tell me in the comment section, guys, the Zoom link is tagged in the YouTube pinned message. Click that. You don't have to show your face. You don't have to show your face. So just keep that in mind. Let's go. I'll give it five minutes. If no one joins or asks questions, then I guess I'll end the live. So they're on YouTube, by the way, IG folks. It's on YouTube. So any questions you have, join in. Don't be shy. But back to the conversation about just hitting sell, the market rallied for a while. We could, talk, we could talk about that while I wait for this. Why not? Where is the remote? We could talk about that. Why not? Join me. We're on Bitcoin. Let's go to the daily time frame. So the market started rallying. We're not going to look at pullbacks. We're going to look at major pullbacks, major red days. So we'll start one, two, three. Let's put the mark, let's go full screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We had this, but this was like an instant flash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Bitcoin. Eighteen days strong. This was inevitable. Your job as a trader, like I've always said, is just to hit profits. Just to hit sell, take your profits. You already see the Ethereum pillow. My love for Ethereum, it's on the school logo. You got to keep that in mind. That is your job as a trader. That's, that's what I would say to you. Just learn to hit sell because that is the only way. But what if it keeps going? You live in a fantasy reality. I got Peter on the live. Peter, fix your mic. I see you. I'll bring you on, Peter. I'll bring you on. But you have to understand. You have to understand that at the end of the day, that's your job. Peter, what's up? What's up, baby boy? All is well, my brother. What time is it in Dubai right now? Uh, hold on, let me check. 4 11. I was waiting for the reset of. Uh, Jesus. By the way, if you guys don't know. I see the four hour close. Pete, and I saw the notification, so I popped on. I appreciate you, Peter. Peter is uh, was a virtual mentorship student. Oh, how many years ago, Peter? Oh, I don't even know. I haven't came to a class yet. I think, I think it was it was when the virtual classes were on. And he never showed up. He paid for it years ago, never showed up. Now he said he's eventually going to pull. Are you coming to New York soon? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Good like, man. I'm gonna come back for like six to seven months, and like I'm gonna go to Canada because I haven't went for a while. Mm. So when I'm there, I'm gonna see which classes you have, and then I'll pop in. Good man. Talk to me, my brother. Ask me a question. Talk to me. I know. But so if you don't know, well, Peter's an active I'm crypto trader. Why the? Why I can't hear you on the audio? Like, you can't. Else. Wait, hold on. You can't hear me. No, I can hear you. It's just it's not on loudspeaker. I'm trying to get on loudspeaker. I'm you mean on the YouTube or on the phone? No, I'm on the phone on the Zoom. I just can't figure out. I don't get how it switched from loudspeaker to to like headset. Like oh. It's on headset right now. Got you. But can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I'm okay, just go, just go with it. Fix it later. Go with it. Um. No, I'm, like I have a question. Go in go. Terms of, uh, What's it called? Like, um, you see when you're doing a re-entry, let's say FET, can I talk about FET just because? Yeah, you, but my brother, you could talk about anything. So you, yeah. you could talk about anything. Yeah, so like I have a question. So let's say you're playing, you're playing a stock or crypto or like whatever, whichever someone's playing. Like I'm doing FET, for example. FET, okay. I've done my su supports or resistance. I was waiting for entry. And hypothetically, if you had your entry and like a strong support, but on the dips, it doesn't come. It comes on like the second second um, wave, like the higher support line. Would you trigger it even though you're 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 like waiting for the lower support to actually trigger? So, like, um, was, so are you watching me on the YouTube drop? right now? Pardon? Are you watching me, Peter, on the YouTube right now? No, I'm actually on my phone downstairs. That's put, right. I'm on put me on the downstairs. YouTube because I'm breaking down the charts in front of you. Let's do an interactive class, okay, my brother. Yeah, let, let me let me let me jump back on. Let me let me go change my station. Let me jump back on. Yeah, but make sure I'm mute on the YouTube. Make sure I'm mute, okay? Because it's gonna have a bad echo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just go set up upstairs. Go just do that. Do back. that. So, because I, I want to answer it properly, I still want to give you a random answer. I have the yeah, board here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, give me give me two minutes. Give me two minutes. Go go go. Right, let me clean up the board. All right, while well, Peter's gone, I see Bobby. Bobby, talk to me, my brother. He's, he's fixing his microphone. We'll wait for him. By the way, again, the link is pinned. Jump on the YouTube live Q&A. Anything you're stuck in, I, don't, I won't see your face. You don't even have to tell me your real name. I know last time people came on, they didn't want to tell me their real names. I don't care. Bobby, fix your mic. Zoom is showing me that your mic is not fixed, so I can't hear you if you're trying to talk. There he is. He fixed the mic. All right. And what's up, Bobby? Can you hear me, Bobby? You got to unmute yourself. There you go. What's up, brother? All is well. I'll be seeing you in class next week. Let's go. Yeah, man. I'm so stoked for that. So stoked. Can't wait. What uh, made you sign up? Tell me that because I know I see you guys. If you don't know who's on the live right now, this is Bobby, the guy with the orange hair picture. You could see the picture and he won the book uh, a while ago for actively engaging. So I appreciate you for actively engaging, Bobby. Yeah, man, absolutely. Uh, honestly, I, I'm an energy person hmm. and, um, you know, I've been involved with, you know, I mean, we've all spent money on like courses or like, you know, all kinds of other stuff and maybe not resonate and don't really dive into it. But um, I resonated with you with, you know, I'm not going to say it out loud, but A G E N D A two zero three zero and all that uh, stuff. So I was. Thank right you. I respect you for not saying it out. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Yeah, man. No, no problem. But uh, it wasn't just that though. That I, I truly felt your your generosity not only through your free content because you, there's so much value given your free content, mm -hmm. but um, I could just tell, man. I could just tell you were a real one. I appreciate and, it. Uh, that's that's honestly just and then just watching your lives i've just been on every single live since then i know i um, see you you hey you won the damn uh, contest on the live so i appreciate you man yeah. and you know what's funny is i had the ebook before that and i was like man it'd be nice to have the physical copy in my hand so that i can you know i have that to to go off of as well so um it just worked out and then i just won like you said i won and i was like all right here we go so praise god time. i appreciate it i'm excited to meet you next week bobby Absolutely, man. So talk to me. Um, Ask me a question. Yeah, so so my my question is it's it's a uh, it's a FOMO question, mm. but it's not. I'm not jumping into anything or making any mistakes. But the FOMO question is, um, I'm late to the party with crypto, 
And um, when you mean late huge. to the party, meaning I'm assuming this is your first bull run that you're witnessing. Uh, I, I mean, I've been in. I so I had Bitcoin when it was like 20k. Right? Let's go. I I sold it shortly after. It was a profit, so it's no no loss. Praise God. Right. But I'm when I see you guys talking about it, I see you and Gerald talk about like all this, you know, GP and stuff, and everybody's talking about uh, these things to be in, and I'm like, man, I missed a wave. But I also know there's always pullbacks. There's always other times to get in. Um, so for somebody that doesn't hold any crypto right now, mm. um, what would you say is you know just uh, words of encouragement or things to get into or think you know ones to check out or, or things to keep an eye out for great question so number one you're in the secret instagram correct correct yes. go into the secret instagram when you get the chance i'm going to give you multiple answers go to the secret instagram and in this in the highlights the little circle things on the secret instagram there is my swing on matic and it's very extensive all the way from the 50 60 cent time Going back, they're all there. Like everything I do, I post it on the secret Instagram. Like the stuff I don't post publicly. So have you gone through the highlights? I have, man. I do. I, when I got entry into that, I was like, this is a whole new world. So <laughs> I, was, I, was watching, I was watching live co uh, course recordings. I was going through your, all of your posts. I was going through, like I haven't been able to make all, all the way through the posts. Wait, wait. Like, I never heard anyone say I, that. Hold up. I'm so hungry with that. Like, it's Why? Just, wait. I, all that I, stuff. I've never heard that before. Why did you say the secret Instagram is a whole new world? Why did you say that? Because it's, it just goes into more depth. Yeah. Right? So, like before what I said that, you know, what drew me to you is just the, a lot of the free content that you give. That is insane value already, but I don't think people understand the level of detail that you go, um, like way further than what is on the surface. And uh, that's what I mean by it. I'm not by not going into too much detail. Right. But it's it's so much more that you're like, oh, now it all starts to click. Now it starts to come together. I get it. And then I already know mentorship is just going to bring it, bring it uh, all together. That, you know, it's funny you said that. I created that randomly. And, you know, it's free. Once you sign up for the mentorship, you're in. It's free. No monthly. I know other people that charge monthly for these things. Nah, I'm good. That, that, just so everybody knows, that day I got in. Like literally that day. It was like 20 minutes after I signed up. So just want to let everybody know that. It's not like you wait two days, three days, you're, you're boom, you're in. So your staff is amazing, by the way. Appreciate it. Yeah, they, they get paid well. <laughs> <laughs> they have nice bonuses. I take care of people that are take care of my people. Love it. So wait, before I answer yours, Bobby, because I want to know, because I'm always trying to grow and get better, right? Yeah. On the secret, because I, I, the secret Instagram is made for you mentorship students, so you can know how much I love you. Like no one could ever say no mentorship. Oh, Professor Fell, he doesn't. No one could ever say that because I set that up. And you, just, what is one thing on it? One thing, if you can, and if it's something specific that you know you can't say, speak in code. But what is one thing on it that really is like, thank you for doing that, so I know to improve or get just stay on that. That's why I want to know. Uh. You know, the one thing that comes to my mind, it, the first thing that came to my mind as soon as you said that, it's not really something you can improve on because you're or you're already doing awesome on it. Thank it's you. the fact that you have your stories chat like open. So if you have a story, if you post a story, you have the chat box open for somebody to immediately ask a question. Of course. I want you mentorship students to talk to me. Of course. But, but that's what I mean. I don't think people understand that because you already know this. You know how like – all of the other quote unquote mentors are, you know, I say quote unquote, cause some of them aren't really them, mm. but you know, just all the kinds of programs that are out there. It's kind of like, here's your thing that you paid for and then good luck. Yes. And you're, you're, you're not like that. I've already seen that. Thank it's you. only been, you know, a little while that I've been in there, but you're not like, you're like, look, if there's something you don't understand, then legitimately message me. Um, you know, if there's something in there that is not covered, if you don't, if it's just not clicking for you, then just let me know. And it, that's, that's what I see. That's the difference. I love so, it. I don't know what, I don't know that you can improve on that, man, because uh, that's such a, such a value. I'm surprised you said that. I was expecting you to say the live trading videos because there's a, you have lots and lots of my penny stock shorting, um, blue yes. chip. I, I'm surprised. I thought that was the answer because everyone says that's their favorite, but Hey, well, God bless then. Okay. Well, it's, it's not that that's the thing, man. You're having me pick 
it's some really really good stuff no so no i feel like, you it's tough to pick one thing but yeah obviously that stuff is amazing by the way your your uh your singing is very entertaining on those videos i have to let everybody know that uh what videos tunes on the pennies on the shorting ones on the oh ones. You'll, you'll be sitting there chilling and you'll be singing some songs i'm like where did this guy come up with this way i hear celine dion busting out i'm like man this guy's having the time of his life i remember now so if you don't if you're watching and you're just not a, you're a watcher you're not a mentor student he's talking about my life trading videos i have a massive playlist and the goal is to hit over a hundred but um he's talking about in the middle of a trade i'll just start singing randomly i guess i celine dion he gave an example so for those of you that don't know that's what he's talking about <laughs> yeah man i uh, just major props to you man looking forward to meeting you next week thank you so bobby appreciate all it. right so now bobby thank you for that that was just for me i appreciate it now let me ask my ask your question again let me solve it now yeah, it's it's uh, so a lot of things happening. Obviously, bull market and crypto, and everybody's either cashing in or you know cashing out. Hopefully, hitting sell. Um, but I missed that boat. I currently don't have anything. Um, but I've been keeping my eye on Matic. I've honestly, uh, for practice, I've just been making practice levels and just watching and seeing how I've been doing, mm -hmm. and just amazing. Like with your with what from the book and the video, the new updated levels book from the video was just so spot on and i can't wait to hear more in depth next week um so my levels have been like really really good praise god um i think it's just like i'm trying to figure out you know where where because i know this is the way of the future i know fiat's going downhill i know all about the the future stuff and everything so i'm just keeping my eye on that mm. um but it's like what as somebody that is not in crypto right now, and I know that it's the future, so I know it's something that I'm keeping an eye on, what is some words of encouragement or advice or something for people that are not in it that are hungry to get into it? Um, just like what things to keep an eye out for and, and you know, I'm, like, I'm not looking for you to say, hey, what's the next big one? Because that's subjective, right? But uh, just what is your overall suggestion for somebody that's brand new that's not holding crypto right now that's absolutely looking to get it bobby i love it are you watching the live right now i am i'm on the youtube as well so let's do it new to crypto fomo so let me solve it for you by the way flood the chat if you're new to crypto flood the chat just like if you're something just like what bobby said flood it so i can gauge my audience by the way let's get these likes up what are y'all doing it takes literally a millisecond Get them up. Say something about that real quick, Professor. Sure, sure. I know you. I know you see me say it on chat every time. I see. Of course, I see it. It's the thumbs up under the screen. It's not the hearts in the chat. It's the thumbs up. So it's not the hearts in the live chat. Just get the thumbs up. That's the likes. That's what he's talking about. There you go. The thumbs up. The thumbs up. Uh, let me just quickly go to the chat. Yes, get the likes up, folks. Come on now. Let's make them equilibrium. How much is the mentorship? Daytradeprofessor.com. You see it flowing below me. Just go there. He's the real one. Thank you. Thank you, Edgar G J P. Uh, that's true. You can see how much his website on his. Thank you, JP. Do you trade options? No. Bobby Seco is going to Method. Yep, he's going. He signed up. He's going to be there next week. Class class starts next week, everybody. Yes, sir. New, uh, new, not new to, but what? Not new to crypto, but in Matic. Cool. JP, definitely need to learn. Uh, move your coins to a wallet. Yo, love just hit sell. Feeling hopeful, not hopeless. That's the goal. Hopeful, not hopeless. New, good question, Bobby. New here. Bobby in the flesh. Let's go. Bobby, Sal, Bobby took action. You know, uh, you're new to me, Bobby, but there's a guy named Salvatore Ragusa. This guy is the biggest watcher. He's been watching me for, I think, a couple of years now. He got blocked on Instagram. Then I felt bad and I unblocked him. But it's wild how you took action and Sal just watches and watches as the price of my mentorship goes higher each year. Wow. I have to be honest, man. I, I when I first saw you, I think you were fasting and you were blocking people left and right. You're like, I'm I'm fasting. You could forgive me, but you were just like you were trick. You were quick on the trigger, and I was like, man, I hope I don't get blocked. <laughs> I was like, I better start engaging. Thank you for that, doing that. So let's go to it, Bobby. Let's go. So if you're new to crypto, how to avoid FOMO? The number one way, simple. Understand. Understand that the crypto market is not going anywhere. The stock market is not going, and the markets are not going anywhere. They will be here. It no matter what you do. That's number one. With me, Bobby? Love it. Number two. Understand.
I just broke my fast. I haven't eaten all day. I think that's how you spell cycles. I might be wrong. I'm not mentally 100%. I haven't eaten all day. I broke my fast like 30 minutes ago. I'm fasting this whole month. But understand the market works in cycles. That's what you need to understand. We're in a bull cycle right now, bull market. We're gonna go back to a bear market and crypto is gonna fall again. I know people on social media. And again, I understand the agenda. I am the man in front of you. And then Bobby and others will meet me behind the camera to see me and I'm the same person. That's one thing everyone is shocked. Number one, the most shocking thing they say is Bobby, oh my God, you are tall. We thought you were like a midget. And I'm like, damn, I'm a man, that's insulting. But I deal with it. It, it doesn't bother me because I'm like, all right, that's number one. Number two, you need to understand the market will come back. You can, if you learn it now, Bobby, that's why I say go to the secret Instagram, go through the um, Matic swing that I did from the 55s to all the way now that you can see, oh, that's what he did. Oh, that's how he did it. Use the book Crypto Chapter. We're going to trade crypto on the weekend, depending on if the setup comes up. We're going to do all of it for you to understand that when the next one comes, you got it. Got it, Bobby? Yep, love it. Number three. Let's see, Bobby, let's see if, how well you really read my book. What do I mean by XP? Number three, understand you must have XP in the markets. Go, Bobby, what does XP mean? Experience. You broke up, Bobby, what'd you say? Experience points. Experience points. You are learning all of it. You are. Did you go through my Matic swing uh, in the secret Instagram highlights? Did you really go through it? Uh, I, I kind of breezed through it because I wanted to see like the different types of levels because it was when you were talking about Maddox specifically. So I was just going through and I was like, oh, okay, I was just connecting the dots, right? And that's another thing about your secret Instagram too is whenever you're talking about something, I go in there to see if I can get like some history or some context and it just ties it all together. So um, yeah, but I'll do it again after this. I don't care. I'll go over and over and over again until I get it. So no worries. Boom. No worries. No, no, no. You just got in recently. So you, you went through it. That's fine. But my point being is that's how you do it. Mainly if you follow these three things and the last one, of course, everyone knows what I'm about to say. It's so. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> well, of course I can put that as number five. Stick to one <laughs> mentor, one strategy. Oh yeah. That's what I would say because, again, this is why I say this, and this is why these are being worked on. Uh, again, these are being worked on for the swag bag 2025, like I said, because I think everyone needs this in their face. This will be a poster you could put up. So everyone needs this in their face. You cannot, by the way, this is not for sale right now. You can't buy this. this is, you can't get this. This is just a sample the company sent me because I'm just, you know, looking at things to improve. I want to get better, and I want to start giving people the shirts officially. You know, it's not these shirts you could get when you come to an international event. Puerto Rico 2024. That once you come, you're gonna get this. Bobby, you coming to Puerto Rico? Honestly, my goal is to get May as well. Yeah, you're May. You just gotta fill out the form. May is free for you now. And, you know this. And yeah, so I, I'll explain to you more in detail when I meet you, like what my goal is. I already have a vision of how this year is gonna go, but my goal is is to hit as many mentorships as possible from profits that I'm going to make. So, um, that's that's my goal. Valid. So now let me let me just go through the questions. I remember being surprised how tall he is. Boom, he's average height. Um, XP experience. Although I wanted to ask why he never trades with other guys, with other guys. Generally. If you want the live trading videos, it's on the secret Instagram. I have a whole playlist of live trading videos. Oh, by the way, also, also. Well, let's see, uh, because he's not a real trainer that has to block his comment section because people see his past. But what's up, brother? We got a hater in the comment. Let's go. By the way, uh, a lofty, I got you. Guys, April, at the end of April, when I come back from Puerto Rico, I'm going to start going live trading for the entire week. I'm going to give you the levels. A level to level. Level to level in the morning. And then we'll live trade it. And then I'll do a penny stock. So, boom. They also come with, I love it. Whoa, we haven't had a hater in a long time. Welcome to the show, my brother. Welcome to the show. You know what's funny? You know what's, who scammed you? Your life. Your life. Hasta luego, my brother. There you go.
he's gone. But that's my point right there. So keep that in mind. When I come back from Puerto Rico, we're going to live trade on Zoom. Sorry, Zoom. On YouTube Live the whole week. Boom. So, Bobby, you got it? Bobby, you're mute. I guess he got busy with something. But if Bobby's watching this right now, this is it. Understand you must have XP point in the markets and stick to one mentor, one strategy. And this will keep you focused. Keep that in mind. That's the secret right there for the new traders. Boom. Let's go. Said host has to, oh, what happened? Here we go, Bobby, my bad. You're back, Bobby. Yeah, man, you, you covered everything. Thank you so much. And uh, um, I might have a couple more questions after, after others. Sure, sure, stay on. I got you. Done. Thanks, brother. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Peter, you are back. Jump in, Peter. By the way, uh, let's get the likes up, folks. Let's get the likes up. Um, the pinned message shows you everything. If you want to join, click the pinned message. And I appreciate the person that jumped on. Thank you for reminding me. Let me know what you guys think and what you want to see. Because what I'm planning when I come back from Puerto Rico, I want to do a whole week. You know, I, a lot of you don't comment or engage with the level videos. So I do them and I say if you comment, I'll bring them back. But you guys don't engage with it. But I'm going to bring them back April. At the end of April, when I come back from Puerto Rico, I have some land deals to go see. And I'm, when I come back, we'll go. I'll give you level videos, like I said. We'll, you can live trade it. And then I'm going to live trade my garbage penny stocks. So I'll probably be live from, I don't know, 9.30 and I'm done by 12. So I'll break it all down for you. I'll do a blue chip first for the new traders. And then I'll do, excuse me, I'll do a blue chip for the new traders. And I'm going to, I need to make money. So I'm going to live trade my garbage penny stocks, whatever comes with the scanner. So let's go. Peter, what's up? What's up, baby boy? How you doing? Good, good. You can see me now? Yeah, I can see you. It's just the YouTube is a bit uh, delayed. Yeah, it's, that's how it is. Instagram is instant. Uh, YouTube is delayed. That's just how it is. Okay, okay. All right, let uh, me load it up. You going, wanted me to look uh, at I FET, to correct? Points for the new crypto uh, people that are coming in for the FOMO. So, like, on his number one point when he was saying, understand the crypto market's not going anywhere, and with with consideration of number two where the market works in cycles that's correct because it works in cycles you know that it's not going anywhere but to help you guys out in terms of like you don't you don't have to feel the FOMO because crypto is not like the stock market so like when you miss a 20 percent jump in the stock market and you're FOMO and thinking oh okay i'm gonna miss it i'm not gonna make any more percent gains say you're in the stock market crypto you come in today and you're you do your research and you find some solid um, crypto coins but then on today, it's up 50%. And then you look on the graph and you see that it goes into, into cycles up and down, like into the support and resistance, but it's up 100%. You still can make 40% on the trade the next day. And then the day after, you can make another 40%. It'll go down 40, then goes up again. It can go up 100%. The next day, it goes up another 40%. The day after, another 30%. And there's like thousands of them. So like what if you're coming from the stock market and you go into crypto and you're seeing all these gains, you're foaming saying, oh, I'm going to miss out. You got to change your mindset. It's always there. And then if you look at the channels, if you miss the 40 percent gain in a couple of days on your same coin, you're going to be able to get an entry and get your 40 percent. And then you can compound it again and again and again. So like there is no point of foaming and um, you're never late. Like, no matter what the price is, never late. If you stick to one strategy, like you're saying on number four, just like follow the mentorship, follow the book, follow the support and resistance, and it'll work charms for you. Correct. I love it. Thank you, Peter. And people, let me stress another thing for you. The most important thing, your issue with this FOMO is you think you're already late to the party and flood the chat and let me know if that's you. You're like, oh man, everyone's ahead of me. I see all these 16, 17, 18 year olds on TikTok saying they're making millions. God bless them. That's their journey they're on. You need to focus on your journey. Imagine, if you will, a reality where you actually do the thing that you want to do consistently. People, all, One of the biggest things people say to me is, how the hell are you still alive so religiously? I am actually the one and only thing I like about social media is this interaction with you guys. This live with you guys. Boom. This thing. By the way, I'm seeing people ask me questions in the chat. Guys, you got to click the Zoom. 
If you have a question, you gotta click the Zoom pinned message on YouTube and come on like Peter. I'll answer the questions. I don't want to answer there and you don't have to show your face. Peter, go ahead. Yeah, just one last thing and then I'll ask my question. Like, just to add on this point, like you were saying, like, okay, they're making millions, it doesn't matter because you're coming with your own strategy at your own time with your own goals. So like you see you're in the stock market, for example, and you had your own like goal settings for it and you're doing exact percentages and stuff like that. So like even if you come in, if you know your your charts and you do your support and resistance and the coin already moved from the support, you can still look at the price increase until the resistance point and you're going to see an exponential amount of gains you can make versus what you would do before. So you're never late. And even if someone's made 100, like he's made 100 percent, you're making 30 percent, 30 percent is great. But you're doing that in like five minutes to 10 minutes based on your charts. You come a couple of days later, you hit another 30 percent and you can go from one coin to another. So like it just take it easy. Go slow and just keep following your charts, like your support resistance on it. Um, just with that being said, you see, is that FET that you have in front of yes, you? Yes, sir. I got FET. Tell me what. So, yes. uh, uh, tell me what time frame so you like, want me to go on. Tell me what you want me to do, and then ask like, your question. On, then on the four on the four hour time frame. Like, hold on. Let me pull out my which one. Yeah. So I'm I'm working on the four hour. That's like my bread and butter. And I put the, like I even use the line regression thing. But like, so for example, I've been in you know I, I've been in FET since like. 24 cents. So like I, I know this baby how it moves and everything. By but the way, wait, I pause on that, Peter. So like, guys, I'm looking at ticker F E T U S D. It's a crypto coin, and I'm gonna be with Peter. Shout out to JP for bringing this up on the crypt crypto portfolio. Uh, crypto. What was it? What do I call that live? Crypto analysis live. I love F E T. Absolutely love F E T. Go. Oh, hold on. I'm just looking at. Like, I'm just bringing the YouTube up. Go ahead, pull it up. Yeah, you have yours. Yo, I have my, I have my, I have my uh, support exactly like yours. Mine's at two point seven zero eight. Well, you learn, you learn yeah. from me, my brother. So of course you're gonna have the same. <laughs> you see, okay. Peter, you cut off. Yeah. Go. Okay, no, I, it's just YouTube. I thought you were talking. I, for, I forgot there was a lag in it. Yep. <laughs> So, so basically, okay. You see here on the on the, uh, I have a support. I don't know if mine's close to yours. It's two point four six nine eight. So you remember how we were talking? Like you know, BTC is gonna is gonna uh, what's it called? It's gonna drop because it's overextended and it's gonna it, it took the liquidity pool. It's going down. So I'm like I'm ready to go. I'm like it's going to good job eight thousand to twelve thousand dollars, which it, it just did in the last two days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last time it did that, it dropped from 2.2 .2 all the way down to 1.22. Mm. So I was taking the past history as a predictor of the future as well to see what kind of, how that moves versus BTC because they're always correlated ever since 24%. So when BTC dropped and then it broke the 2.7, I'm like, okay, perfect. It's going to come to the 2.46. When I'm looking at BTC, I knew BTC is still going to drop further and it was breaking the supports. So it was going to go to the 200 EMA. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, I don't want the 246 because, you know, I, I was getting 122, then I was getting great entry. So I was going down to the 197. So I'm like, I wanted to break the 246 or at least test the 246 and go up. When you're looking at the fork, it didn't come close. So I was so tempted because of its strength, its change in strength. I'm like, okay, is it going to come? Is it not? BTC was starting to turn. It was wicking to the 65,000 or 66,000, mm. but Fed stopped moving with it. It wasn't being correlated with it as well, so I'm like, okay, is my support not is my support not right anymore? Do I have to take a different variable into consideration? Hmm. So like today, today, yesterday night, I basically when it was coming, it wasn't coming to our 2.46. Hmm. So I'm like, okay, this isn't normal, and I've been there for like four or five months with Fed. So what I decided, I'm like, you know how you always teach it, wait for your support. You know, you'll get the chance. So I had a little FOMO. I won't, I won't lie, like a sin right there. I'm like, okay. It's not doing the same thing it used to do. Maybe I have to adapt. So I triggered it um, to this morning. I triggered it at 2.55. See, and then you see a wick. You see that big wick? Yeah. It did come to it. So if I put a buy limit, I would have actually got that support. So my question to you is, is that wrong, that thought process I just did? Should I be waiting? You know, like it was, and it was barely. It was just like a split second. And I did a, two, I came 2.55 or 2.56. That's where I just checked Peter, out. I'm going to answer that and I love your question because I'm, I'm the exact same. By the way, Derek Chavez, brother, the link works because I see people on the Zoom. 
Derek, it's you, bro. You got to update your Zoom or update whatever you're doing because the link works. I see people on my, uh, on my Zoom right here. So, Peter, I love what you're saying because I'm the same. I am the same and I'm going to give you a story. Today, I traded some garbage penny stock, right? I had the pre-market high. I had, the, I had my key levels. I had all of that set up. And I knew it was going to go there. I knew it. But it was just holding. Holding, holding, maybe six, seven cents away. I could have put a limit and I could have I could have got triggered and short it back down. But I got in early it, and it went up. I had my stop loss ab above my key level resistance, of course. It went there and then it decimated down. So let me tell you straight right now, this issue, as long as you have a stop loss, you're perfectly fine. This is an issue you can't avoid, my brother. It's, okay. excuse me, it's ingrained in us. And the only, and here's the thing. You ready for this? No matter what you do, you're going to suffer. I got you and I'm going to prove it to you. Watch this. So you wanted this entry, correct? Yeah. Okay. If, I don't know if you have levels down there. I didn't go that low. Let's pretend you have this level and there's a level here. You got filled here, but it touched your other level. Would you be pissed saying, damn, I wish I set it at the other level? You see, you gotta give me, like, I won't lie, you gotta give it five seconds. I can o open you on Instagram, because, like, I have to wait till you jog. Open an IG, open an IG, open an IG. Yeah, give me two seconds. I, I got you, go, go, go. you on the Instagram live rather than the YouTube. Go, done, done, Sorry. done. Yeah, the Zoom link works. I love it. I appreciate everybody on the Zoom link. By the way, guys, for those watching the Zoom, put your digital hands up and I'm going to get to you. I'm going to get to you because I want you to be in order. Put your digital hands up. Tell me whenever you're ready, Peter. There you go. Yeah, how, how do I mute the Instagram? I can't mute you? Yeah. Okay. But, um, I don't know, actually. I've never been on a Zoom and Instagram at the same time. I don't know. Uh. Okay, so then just listen to me then. No worries, and it'll get to you. The YouTube will eventually get to you. What I'm trying to say is... It would be there now, so I'm just going back to it. My five seconds, I'll be there. No worries. And I'll, I'll see where you do it. Because I, I do have levels down. Because I've been here for... for so what, what, just tell me the levels. What, what's the levels you wrote? I got you. I'll show you right now. Let's say your buy on FET was this level, 242, and then some level down here. But if you notice, it hit here and here. Let's say you had level one, not level two. Would you be pissed that you didn't get filled at level two? No. You see, that's the thing. Because, Ooh. I, because I, I also know that like it, the level two, because I have the level one, level two, I know that it bounced on the level two, so it's coming back to level one. So it still it just gives me confirmation in terms of like, okay, you, you can never time the bottom. You can never time the top. That, stop right there. People, you you just know. said it. That is what you truly have to come to the understanding. Again, the feeling never goes away. You're a human being. But that's the key part you just said. You can't time the bottom. You can't time the, to uh, the, uh, can't time the top. Because I'll tell you some DMs my team got saying how uh, it was flooded. How the hell did you know two days ago that this was dropping? Because, you know, I mentioned these things. I said the chart clearly shows it. I don't. I am not. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, me and you are no different. I am with you. And then people say, but wait, you've been doing this 11 years. You've been, you know, uh, economics, all this. No, the chart is your answer. The chart just tells me a story. Just like I can't read French. Some of you watching, uh, uh, Peter, what language can you read other than English? Uh, English, French, and Arabic. Okay, you can read Arabic. I used to be able to read it. I can't anymore. But you can read Arabic because it's a language you've studied, you've mastered, correct? Yes. Trading is the same way. This is just a language. All of this is a specific language that I teach. If you want to think about it, I'm actually a language teacher. I teach you a new language, the candles, the levels. These are all languages. So keep that in mind. But he said the key word. You can't time the top. You can't time the bottom. Your job is only to what, uh, uh, Peter? Your job is only to follow your strategies. To like, you, you get in when, when you're on a, on support, you get out at resistance or right before and right after. That's Correct. Right after support, when it when it's a confirmation, and then you set you hit the sell. You you can't put a price target in your mind. Like when you put a and I did that before when I put a price market a price target, and I would wait for it and like because it broke the resistance, you know, and you're supposed to get out on resistance. It's like no, okay, fine, I'm gonna just keep it, let it ride because it's like crypto, it's not stock. It, the, the speed at which it drops, it, the, your your resistance doesn't even become support. 
So like like the future, it's not like the stock market when it comes to crypto. So they they're always it's like a it's a human being. It's living. So it's it's it changes also. So you always have to daily do it as well. Mm. And that's why like yeah, you you have to just hit the sell. In Correct. Terms of it. And that's what I've been doing now. Like before, I didn't because I, I was low. So I knew like even if it came down, I was in a lot of profit, and I put a stop loss where I would I would still secure a lot. But then now at this level, you have to follow the support and resistance. But you you make a lot. You can make a lot. Of, you make gains per day. Well, so that's, like, uh, Peter, you know, that's what the chart is, man. It literally shows you yeah. what level you're on. That's the, if, that's what it is, 100%. So did I answer your question, Peter? You had, or you want to go yeah, deeper into your question? You. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Hit sell. Just hit it. Wait, I hit it? I answered it? Yeah, you answered it. It's the perfect. It, it, it just gave me confirmation. Like, it, basically, like, I didn't do it Like, the takeaway here is, like, you didn't do it wrong. You know what I mean? Like, you had your level. You knew that it was going to come. It was going to bounce. Even though you, you, you hit the buy right before it, it came after it. You don't feel bad because it actually did what you were expecting it to do. And it was based on the chart itself. So, therefore, you just go with it. Forget that. And you keep going. So, and it's better. It's, it, it was a good one. It was just, it could have went down a bit further if it didn't hold it, but that's where you're level one and level two. So you just do a few more support levels. Boom. You got it, Peter. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Go to sleep. It's four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Well, no, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get off the Zoom. But I'm going to continue watching, you know, while I just like get ready for bed. But like, good seeing you. Thank you, Peter. I'll, I'll chat to you later for sure. Done. Thank you. All right. Take care. Take care. All right. Next person, VK. Coming in from a phone line. Talk to me, VK. Hey, amazing. Whatever you're doing, love it. Uh, Why do you sound you, familiar? Not your book. I don't know. I've talked to you before. I'm not sure. Oh, we've spoken before. That's why. I'm about to say your voice is familiar. I appreciate you getting the book, VK. What's your name, VK? Uh, just VK. <laughs> no, no, I respect it. Hey, God bless. Talk to me, VK. Yeah, no, I, I just want to say, you know, I love what you're doing. Thank uh, you. Your book is amazing. Thank uh, you. I learned a lot. Um, I actually, believe it or not, I actually rewatched some of your IG classes, entry and exit shows. So I watch a lot of them and I study from them too. So uh, bless you. And, Thank you. And, you know, whatever you're doing for the, you know, for the public. Thank you. So thanks, man. That's why I just, I just jumped up for that. All right, before you go, let me ask you a question. What is your favorite part of the book? Yes, sir. My favorite part of the book is, believe it or not, is the, the support and resistance. Mm. That is my favorite part of the book. And the second is the mindset, when you talk about the mindset and stuff mm. like that. So, um, uh, mindset is a huge, huge factor of this. Um, you talk, you know, I've re uh, read all of it. Um, and you're talking about uh, understanding the spy. Um, I mean, it could go on. <laughs> How to be a consistent trader. Mm. Um, yeah, so that's one of my, my support and resistance is the favorite part. I'm glad. When am I going to ever see you in class? Hopefully soon, man. Hopefully Let's go. Morning. Hopefully soon. Let's go. Thank you, VK. I appreciate you, man. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Yes, sir. You too. Thank you. All right, next person, come on down. Hussein, welcome, my brother. You can unmute yourself, Hussein. I'll give it a few, and then we'll go to. There we go. Hey, Professor, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Assalamu alaikum, my brother. Wa alaikum assalam. I have to drop down Instagram. Okay, now I have. So, Professor, I am just going to take 30 seconds. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I'm saying you're good. Uh, I'm going to take 30 seconds. And uh, so, when I opened up the slice, I saw four more. I saw like, oh man, this is for me. Because I have done an, I have done an undergraduate and all the mistakes that could be done in trading. Mm. Uh, you know, the burnt a uh, bit of money and everything. And I also admit that, for example, when I do some self-analysis, it is only me who lacks. Like, for example, there is no such thing as motivation. It's something that comes from within. Mm. And 
if if for example if i'm not doing great then basically there is no one to blame other than me correct it's just me uh so year and a year uh, a year ago i opened up uh, a company of mine which was nothing to do with trading or, or so and i worked really hard and these days i'm seeing the fruits of it so yesterday i was speaking to my wife and i said like hey uh, these are all the times that i have to stay up like 5 to 6 right now we just had a uh, seher in karachi and i told her that you know this is the time i'm going to step on it and basically i will also admit that i played the part of a donkey i would, I would no don't, don't talk to yourself i'm saying don't talk to this don't call yourself an animal what's wrong with you ah so yeah, why are you calling you yourself that why are you saying you act you're like a donkey why did you say that tell me well i knew what the right direction was but somehow i lacked the courage to get up and go that way hmm that doesn't make you a donkey bro you just need more confidence you just lacking confidence conviction and as a trader what is the only thing stopping you from hitting buy your lack of confidence that's it you just and how are you going to build up your confidence to hit buy and hit sell by trading by by, tra by taking actionable moves and actually doing it that's all you need to do that's it yeah yeah Uh, professor can i ask you a question like, yeah yeah go, go i'm waiting for your question <laughs> but from like from here i have tried making accounts on a lot of pl platforms that your book mentions mm -hmm. and like 90% of them uh, i i'm unable to make accounts what con on. what country are you in hosain pakistan right now karachi oh brother i have no clue what brokers maybe ah uh, uh no, but is the only one that is working the, which one Qcoin, Qcoin. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, so we're talking about crypto. We're not talking about stocks. Uh, no. But for the stocks, the platforms are not available. What did you try? Trade Zero. Trade Zero is also not working. Did you try? Oh, uh, come on, brain. Interactive brokers. No. Try interactive brokers. Maybe again. I don't know the the protocol in Pakistan, South Asia, that area. But try it. Try interactive brokers. Maybe. Uh, so, as a matter of last resort, would you say that I can at least use KuCoin to start with? For cryptocurrency, yeah, but don't put too much money on KuCoin. I like KuCoin, but I don't trust them. That's not somewhere where you should keep a lot of money. Actively trade, pull out money. Actively trade, pull out money. KuCoin is great because you can short crypto on that. I'm not saying short anything, right? No one's talking about that. But all I'm saying is, don't put too much money on it. That's all I would say. All right, so I trade, I buy, I sell, get out. Good man, good man. That's not somewhere where you should hold like seven bitcoins. Hell no. Understood. So I'm going to uh, jump on it and do my first buy, like probably this week. I just made an account and I'm learning the buy and sell buttons. Hmm. Just wanted to say thank you for your time and for your, uh, just for your, you know, whatever you're doing. You're welcome, Hussein. I appreciate you. What time is it in uh, Pakistan right now? Uh, it's 5:55 a.m. Close to six in the morning. What are you waking up to do your fast? Uh, no, I already closed my fast. Like Sahar time was around five, so I had uh, this live schedule. You prayed Fajr? Yeah, yeah, I already. Did. Good man, good man. That's one of the secrets I'm telling you. The morning prayer Fajr and the nightly prayer Isha. As long as you knock out those three, those two, woo! The blessing. It's been five months. I, it's been five months. I am consistently praying five times a day. That is really putting you on a disciplined track. Correct. That's what I was gonna say. And God will help you. Ask Him for help. And he'll help you back. I promise. Thank you so much, Professor. Thank you for your time. You're welcome, my brother. I'll see you. Thank you. You're welcome. Salam alaikum. All right. Next one. Let's keep it going down the line. Who's this? Derek's iPhone. What's up, Derek? I unmuted you, my brother. Talk to me. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm good, Derek. How you doing? Good. I'm finally happy to be able to talk to you. Someone that's like knowledgeable that I've been watching for. Bro, a this time. these lives are scheduled. I'm here. I'm here for the Q and A stuff, man. I, I gotta hop on. And then, um, I just gotta be more consistent with it. It's just um, I, I had a question. Like, so I when I turned 20 in November, I started like just got more exposed to markets in general. Wait, are you uh, uh, Derek Chavez who couldn't get on? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Why couldn't you get on? You have to update you to uh, Zoom, right? I know. I think I just didn't have. Uh, I don't have Zoom on my iPad, so I just downloaded it on my phone before it died. Boom. All right, go now. Go ahead. You're twenty. You're turning twenty in November. God bless. 
it's just yes. I just wanted to ask. Um, when I turned twenty in November, like I got some insight with some mentors, but how you say one mentor, one strategy. So I just tried to stay on whoever I found for a while. He gave me some good advice, but I think I've made a. I don't know if anyone else in the chat or in the class has made this mistake or like in your experience, but I think I've been holding my coins too long. Like I've seen it go up and down, up and down. Like for example, um, it'll, I'll have like two hundred dollars popping one day, and then how you said it'll go up, like patterns. You get me? I just I don't know if I'm um, like maybe I have my strategy wrong as far as like like because I, I can make profits, but I think I'm just holding too long. If that makes sense. You know what I'm about to say. Guys, flood the chat for Derek over here. He's holding his coins too long. What does Derek have to do, folks? Flood the chat. Derek, I'm not even going to give you the answer. The, ch <laughs> the chat's going to give you the answer. That, that's number one. That, well, that, and I, ever since I heard you say this too, that's been my number one advice to anyone. Like our job as traders is to make money. That's our only job. Like when you just simplify like to that and you take away like, you just want to look percentages and to make money, correct? Correct. But my brother, look at the chat right now. Peter, right? The PTZ, that's Peter from Dubai who was just on the live. Bobby, Rory, Steven. Look at the chat. I didn't even say it. They said the answer. Just hit sell. That is, let me, and don't say names. I don't like talking about other traders or get involved in uh, drama or beef or anything like that. But the other people, what were they telling you to do? Keep hold, uh, uh, hold forever, that type of nonsense? Um, well, no, um, I was following this guy on Wall Street. Um, not, so, uh, you probably know him because he was in like the, the techno, like he's been, he's in that space a little bit. He's yeah, but don't say the name. I don't want to start drama. Don't say names. Yeah, yeah, I won't say names. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm, I'm uh, drama free, bro. That's why I follow 10 people. I am drama. No one can involve me in their social media beef. And when the haters, we got two haters coming in. I'm surprised, but God bless you. I like that. I when, I, when, I, when I first got into your lives, I was so scared to like ask questions and stuff because I was like, even if like I ask something you may not like, that's like simple. No, 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 no. My brother Derek, you get. I'm gonna tell you. I've said it many times. You get uh, blocked for not. Eventually, the team for not commenting on the uh, comments on the Instagram videos, YouTube videos like that. Number two, starting artificial drama. Number three, trying to get my class. I'm teaching a class right now. This is a digital class. And if you're disturbing the chat box and causing to go on a tangent, then these are the things you get blocked for. Very simple. But it's not something that could take the class on a tangent or distract my students. Then, then we're good. I've been teaching for a long time. Uh, how old are you now? You're in college, right? Um, no, I just honestly, well, um, you you were a professor, so just for me, I just took a, I observed and I looked around me. My sister went to college, but um, she just didn't finish. And I just want my friends in general. Um, it, this is pattern. You people do something and they don't want to do it. So then, like, when you're close or when you, you know, like, at the end of the day, like, they just might wake up one day and just give up. And, like, I just wanted to choose something, like, for myself or just, I just wanted to take control of my own life and be like, you know, like, I'm going to take my own decision step by step. Like, you can't see, like, at the, you can't see the end of the light. Like, you can see the tone at the end of the light. You can't see the thousand steps to get there, but you can always see the next one. I like so I'm that. Just trying to take it like that. No, yeah. I'm with you. I'm against. Listen, I'm against the traditional schools. I'm against it. I'm the first one. I am the first one to tell you, and this is someone with two degrees in the education field. I'm telling you right now, I'm against it fully, so I don't blame you. Go do something that can actually make you money. That's why I'm working on building a school that'll teach us that, Derek. But ask your question now. But you're good. You're not getting blocked. I see you, Derek Chavez. Go. You're not going to get blocked. For sure. Um, just also, okay, so like we were doing a beginning. But wait, did I answer your question though, right? Let me just make sure. I know you asked me a question. The goal is to hit and sell at key levels. I got out of my crypto already. I, I don't care about this downfall. People don't even have to ask me, are you still in? I publicly said it. I'm out. I said it before this big drop. People, before I go into Derek's second question, this is what I will tell you. Your peace of mind, and watch this. I don't even know, but watch the chat. How many of you that are still in crypto now or were in two days or whatever the case, you're still in it or were in it before this fall that we had last night? We're having a wreck of sleep, couldn't focus, couldn't stop. Where's my other phones? I don't know, but couldn't stop checking every minute you could because your heart excuse me, was racing because you were up so much. You bought, let's say you listened to me on Matic when I did the live last year when it was 54, 55, 56 cents and you bought it then and you saw it go to a dollar twenty, dollar twenty nine, or whatever the freak it just touched uh, two days ago and you were still in it and now it fell, I think last night it hit 106 or whatever the freak it hit. How panicky would you be? Flood the chat. 
But Derek, to answer your question, that, uh, I know I already answered it, but that's the thing though, man. Your job is just to make money. I'm here. If you call me your mentor, if you're learning from me, if you bought my book, it's because I resonated with you with the ideology of just hit sell. Derek? Did we lose Derek? He's still there. He's not mute because his microphone is on, but... Professor, I just checked and downloaded Interactive Trader. Seems like it's available in my country. Let's go. Derek, I lost you. All right. Well, I answered his first question. He could come back for the second one. Uh, Derek, come back to ask the second one. Let me take the next person. Israel, what's up? Talk to me, Israel. Hello, Professor. How are you, man? I'm good, Israel. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, I quickly, well, I just quick, uh, well, first of all, thank you. Thank you for your lives. Uh, You're welcome. Very helpful, very helpful. And um, um, I'm trying, I'm going to try not to see YouTube because it's a mess. Uh, Wait, why is YouTube a mess? What happened? No, no, it's, um, it's, be I don't know if it's behind. It's uh, delayed five it's seconds. Yeah, that's how YouTube is. Yes. YouTube is delayed five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. I just focus on, uh, on the phone. Sure. So, um, I have a couple of questions. Um, and the first one is, you know, I don't have yet my physical book. I'm waiting for it. I'm trying to, uh, go through all the content that I can possibly find in the secret IG, uh, and your YouTube. Wait, um, secret IG. That. Sorry. Uh, oh, you're a mentorship student, Israel. What's up? Yeah, uh, I am the one who's signing for uh, Mart uh, two days ago. My uh, brother, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Israel. Thank you. I can't wait to see you next week. Thank you. Yes, man. And like, uh, I mean, I will just share this quickly for anyone who is there. Uh, I've been watching uh, the professor for a very long time. I tried to join into the seminar two years ago, but I couldn't make it. A lot of things happened, but anyways, I'm back, fully commitment this year. So that's why I'm, I'm flying out to New York and I, I'm very excited. Uh, and um, anyway, so yeah, I, I just wanted to leave that there for somebody. So for anyone who is not very sure about to, you know, do it or not. Thank you. I, um, yeah. And um, so my question is quickly. So I got the message saying, do not pump with uh, unless you have the trade zero. Um, Correct. Have you had any student, uh, Canadian student, that had that before and worked out well? Yeah. So, what trading broker do you have? Um, over here is almost. Um, it's um, it's very hard. You know, uh, I have I have co um, what is this? I have KuCoin, but KuCoin is not gonna be. You so know, wait, are we talking about stocks or crypto, Israel? Oh, crypto. Crypto. Uh, oh yeah, KuCoin uh, is fine. No, Israel, uh, Trade Zero is only for stocks, my brother. But if you're coming to learn and master crypto, KuCoin is fine. Okay. Yeah, you got Coinbase. I don't know if they got Coinbase in Canada. I think they do. Do they have Coinbase? Yeah, we do. Uh, I think we do. I'm gonna try to see if I can. Uh, switch it to the pro uh, site. I think it's, I have more options, uh, be, but we're very limited here. And um, yeah, you guys have a lot of regulation. That boy Trudeau up there, man. Yeah, but still, it's still, it's not going to stop me. Uh, I'm still going to learn. I, I feel like uh, once I, have, I, I, you know, I, I, I learn properly the skill, doesn't matter. I, I, you know, I can always go anywhere else and, and do it from somewhere else. Boom. Right. Yep. So yeah. KuCoin is yeah. fine. You don't need to, if you're not doing stocks, because I have people that sign up for my classes that want to learn. By the way, just so we're clear, I have a free course, daytradeprofessor.com. You don't have to pay me a cent. You don't have to get the book. My haters watching, my super fans watching, the two haters that came in today, I agree with you. You don't need me. You don't need to come to my class. I agree 100%. YouTube, you can learn it all on YouTube. I'm with you. That's why I have a free course. Use that and go away. I, I, I'm 100% on your side. But you weirdos don't understand something, my super fan haters. There are certain human beings that cannot learn through videos alone. It doesn't work that way. It just doesn't work by watching a video and saying, huh, let me leave a YouTube comment. Maybe he'll eventually answer. Some people need to read something focus aligned. The book. Right. Then some people 
want to be in front of someone in a small class, not 100, 200, 400, 700 people convention hall. They need a small class where someone's actually physically in front of them, instantly answering their questions. So I saw the two hater comments. I, I got you and I thank you for those hater comments. I appreciate it because it makes me address it because I'll address it as if you take my class on a tangent, then we have a problem. Only I take the classes on tangents, not you, but I'll answer that. So I agree. Some people want to be, I have people, I have my student Michael Mick who flew in from Australia, he's killing it. I posted on my Instagram story, killing it trading. He said it was worth every penny. He's the type of person that needs to be in front of somebody to learn. That's it. So you have to understand if someone is willing to pay for it, that's on them. I don't pay for Louis Vuitton. I don't like that stuff. I'm not going to go on their page and say, scammers, Louis Vuitton, you suck. I could get the same thing for $10 from China. Stop being having low frequency. This is why you're probably broke, my super fan haters. But my point being, for those of you watching that are broke, take the free course. Make money on that income. So, and then, boom. So Israel, keep going. So KuCoin, I'll, ta I'll answer as many questions from you because you're a mentorship student and I appreciate you. Yeah, By the way, you. So, I had a surprise for you, but I'll tell you now. You're getting, you are getting um, the, the jacket. You're getting a custom flight jacket. And I'm also, this was not in the package that you got. I'm also going to give you a mouse pad. I'm going to give you the new bag. You saw the secret Instagram story I posted? Yes, I love you're, it. You're I getting, it you're the only one, by the way. You're getting that. Oh, thank you, man. You're going to get thank that. You, you're going to get a phone holder thing. You're getting a few things because we're having dinner together. You know, you signed up for the VIP package, so I appreciate you. Yeah, man, let's go, man. So, yeah, the, I, I also, you know, that's why I, I, you said it. Uh, I, went, I was going to do it for May, but I'm like, no, you know what? New York is relatively close, so let's do it, man. And I've been watching you for a very long time now. Thank so you. So I, I, I have to go and meet you, man. It's, it's going to be very, I'm excited, man. So And I appreciate you for all of it that you do. Of course. You know? Thank you. Go for it. Ask the next uh, question. Yeah. Go. Yeah. No, the, um, that will be my questions. Uh, and I, I will let someone else to jump in. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Come back. Stay on and just come back. All right. Done. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Israel. Elaine, I see you. Elaine says I can't put my hand up on the Zoom. No worries, Elaine. I got you right now. I got you. Let me get David first because David, I haven't heard from David yet. It's a different David. And then Elaine, I got you next. That means you have to update your Zoom probably. It says emotions for the emoji. Mr. David with the Pokemon picture. What's up? Talk to me. How can I help you, David? What up, Professor? How you doing, man? Uh, oh, God. I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, yeah. Crystal clear, bro. All right, bet. Just because uh, YouTube is a little behind, but you already know that. Um, yeah. yeah. My question is, um, so I'm trying to learn your like hook reversal pattern and stuff like that, right? From your book? Yep. Yeah. And um, I was just wondering, do you treat like the after and pre-market candles the same way as you would as the market open candles? Because I know like the pre-market and after hours usually have less volume. And I mainly look at the market ones just because they have more volume. But I feel like I might be doing that wrong, but I'm not 100% sure. What? God bless you, bro. David, what a question. Thank you. 100%. Candles or can't pre-market, a market open after hours, a candle's a candle, it tells you data, buyers and sellers, that's 100%, it's the same. I view it the same way, bro. Okay. So you, don't, you don't look at them any differently then? Like, you're like, because I know in the book you also mentioned, like, you should look at the volume and stuff like that, but you just kind of, like, go with, like, the candlestick formation, if it keeps going the same pattern, then just continue with it? Yes, sir, because usually if you have a knock, in pre-market and a knock in another pre-market, usually the boom happens in the morning. It, it, it varies, right? It's never 100%. But yes, for those of you that are watching that don't know what the hell I'm talking about, it's a chapter in the book called the knock-knock boom. That's what he's talking about. But yeah, the knock-knock boom is king. That's how I made some money today on the knock-knock boom failure though, on the inverse side of it. Because it knocked one time in pre-market. So I'll give you the story. It knocked one time in pre-market. It knocked the second time in um, market open, and then it failed, and I took the short on that. Didn't get the perfect entry, unfortunately, but I took the short based off the fail of the boom. Okay, gotcha. But, the, the, right. but let me go deeper. No, I'm not done. So the volume is always a little different in pre-market. You know this. So don't pay too much attention to the volume number in pre-market because it varies, right? It's not usually the same 
And it depends. Are we talking about penny stocks? Are we garbage penny stocks? Are we talking about blue chips or it varies? Uh, blue chips. So definitely look at the pre-market volume then. Correct. Okay. Yep. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Professor. You're welcome, David. I appreciate it. Yep. Boom. All right, let's go. Um, I said Elaine, so let me get Elaine, then I'm going to get um, Canadian Traveler. If you can, put your hand up, guys. For those in the Zoom, put your hands up. All right, let me get Elaine. Go ahead, Elaine. You are good to go. Talk to me, girl. Oh, one second. Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you, Elaine. How are you doing? Where are you coming in from? Holland? Uh, D Denmark? Yeah. The Netherlands. The, I knew it, that accent. I knew that accent. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you, Elaine. Well, let me ask you a question. How the hell did you find me all the way in the Netherlands? Um, through Instagram. The algorithm? Yes. Praise God. Yes. And I cut everybody off after I, I read your book and uh, after I saw your videos. Ooh, how many people? I love this. I love it. I'm assuming you're brand new to this game. I'm assuming. I don't know. Yes, yes, I am. That's, that's why we have a question. No, no, I'm going to answer your question. But wait, let me get to know you for a second, girl. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Y'all are rushing to ask questions. So how many people did you cut off before you uh, before you cut off and said, this is my guy? Why? Only two because I'm really new to this. And when so you say I you cut them started. off, this is the key part. This is the key part. Now, I hopefully the answer is uh, yes. I mean, no. Uh, did you, are you, have you ever been in signal chats, discords, all that? Only one. Oh, uh, for how long? Well, two weeks and then. Uh, <laughs> Why did you leave? Okay, two weeks is not bad. Why did you leave? Um, it was, one, it was, um, what is the name in English? It's too chaotic, too blurry for my mind. Too, yeah, too much. And then, well, then I, I saw your videos and I read your book and I was like, okay, let's cut it off right away. I love it, folks. You didn't hear me say it. She said it. And this is why I don't have signal chats. I don't believe in them because she said it. It's too much noise going on. You, how can the freak you trade with a hundreds and hundreds of thousands of comments flying by? Look at this ticker, this ticker. Like I said, I'm going to do a live trading live at the, when I come back from Puerto Rico. <gasps> When I come, excuse me, when I come back from my Puerto Rico mentorship, I'm going to go live for a whole week and we're going to do it. And you're going to see how I do it. So, Elaine, thank you. Now, ask your question. Yes. So, I'm, I'm really a newbie. And um, I started in December putting 100% in, I think what they call it, it's like a long-term pack. Hold I don't know what a long-term pack... We don't have something called long-term pack in America, but do you mean like a CD? Something where you put money in, it's locked in, and it gives you oh, yeah, a high per a percentage? You just invest in crypto, and you just keep it there. You know? I know what she's talking about. I, the word you just won't... invest in crypto? So you put it in a broker to invest in crypto, and you're getting a percent back? No, no. I just bought crypto. Oh, you bought it and it's just moving up and down, basically. Yeah, so I did that. Uh, I put everything in in December and I'm, I'm really a newbie. And uh, so that's like now three months. So I've been lucky. I, I feel lucky, blessed. Blessed. Yeah, because we're okay. Okay, today, yesterday was a little bit less, but <laughs> you know, but still from December, uh, I just put it in and it sits there and I feel blessed. I'm coming to you next week. I'll see you next week. Wait, is your name Elaine Van something something? Yeah, Ellen from Battenberg. Yeah, what's up? I appreciate you signing up for the mentorship, girl. Thank you so much. My photographic memory just kicked in because I know all the students coming. I see it and I saw a long name like Elaine Van and I'm like, boom. Thank you so much, Elaine. Yeah. By the way, I have three students that are in the Netherlands, FYI. Oh, really? They just came to the last class in January? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's cool. Yeah. And they're coming to Puerto Rico in April from the Netherlands, three of them. Oh, really? <laughs> so I will put you in contact with them on uh, next week. Do me a favor. My assistant will be there um, next week at the mentorship. She has all my phones. 
go to her and I'll show you who and link up with them and become friends with them in the Netherlands because three of them live there. Oh, that's cool. It's, it's, it's nice to have, uh, yeah, like a, like a buddy. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. But, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to, to uh, because I'm really like a Blanco paper. And can I tell you something? That'll make you the best performing student of all time straight. From all my years of doing this, my best performing students are the ones that come as a clean slate that haven't been corrupted by outside forces. Okay, because now I still feel like, you know, when I read all, you know, all this and other people, but I hope so. But that's also my problem because I, I went in in December. Oh, the connection, wait. No, no, you're good, Elaine. I'm listening to you. You're good. Okay, yeah. So I went, um, I was blank. I went in in December to, to buy the crypto, to put it for long term. And I'm coming to your class next week, but now I'm like, oh my God, because I need to hit sell, but I don't even know what to do with my long-term uh, portfolio. <coughs> because, um, yeah, I even really even don't know when to hit sell this long-term portfolio, or, or do I keep it? Elaine, stop. Keep stop. Yeah. Don't, don't get like this. You just said it. You're new. You don't know what you're doing. You took action and now you just want guidance. And you just got in the game December, January, February, and it's March. Four months four months now in the game. You're fine. Don't push yourself like this. That's why you're coming to me next week. You took initiative. You said, I'm going to New York. I want to get this down. And I'm, I got you. Don't stress it. I have my past mentorship students there as well to help. There's a, I always allow the past to come. That's why if you want to come back in May, it's free now for you. You can come back in May. So don't stress it. You'll be fine. Don't go, don't be like this. Should I sell? Should I? You don't know. You don't know what you're doing. No, I don't know. <laughs> so it's not. It's okay. You took. You did know. something. Like go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. What coins you got, it's by like, the way? Um, what coins? Yeah. I've, I've been... Sorry. Come. Come again. What crypto coins did you buy in December? Uh, I bought like 70. Did you just say 70? Uh, seven zero? Yeah, it's like seven zero. Yeah. Elaine, how the hell yes. did you even find 70 crypto coins? <laughs> With no knowledge at all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Oh, you're getting a lecture when I see you next week. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. What? Where did you find <laughs> 70 crypto coins? Like for a new trader, where? Well, there's many, right? No, 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 no. I, the girl, there's hundreds of thousands, of course. But how did you, how did you find the 70? Well, yeah, because because I'm a newbie, I thought like, okay, let's put like 30% in. Uh, Elaine, hold on, because now my mind is going, how did you find them? How did you find these coins? Did you Google something? Like, tell me where you found them. Um, <laughs> well... Just, just a little bit googling, yeah. Let's say googling, and I'm with Bybit, and. All right, stop! I am so excited to see you next week because now this is gonna be hilarious. We're gonna. Oh my god. No, no, no! It's all good. We're gonna talk about this next week. Done, done, done. Okay. Done. Wait. So don't worry. Don't stress that. I got you next week. You got a another question? Why are you still laughing? No, because I'm like, uh, like days like yesterday, yeah? Or today. <laughs> you saw that big drop yesterday. Yeah, and I'm not even freaking out. It's like, it's, it's, it's okay, because then I think, okay, it will go up again, right? So I'm just sitting on those crypto and doing literally nothing. <laughs> it, again, it's okay. You, you're going to learn. We're going to clean out that, and we're going we're gonna to fix it. I'll tell you a quick story and then we'll go to the next person. I had, I used to do one-on-ones. I don't have time. I don't do them anymore, but I used to do them. And it used to be, uh, port they wanted me to look at their portfolio. This one guy, his, it was stocks, not crypto. His 95% of his stocks, 95% of his stocks. And he had a lot. I don't remember the number, but it was a lot. All garbage penny stocks, long, thinking they were all going to go up. 
and they all went down, down, down. So, and this is why you ask for help. So it's okay. We're going to discuss it next week, Elaine, but we're going to have a good time because this will be a funny conversation because I'm excited to see what you got in there. And I'm assuming there are some, majority of them are some of the worst coins of all time. <laughs> yeah, but I do love Fed. Fed made my day. <laughs> my three months. <laughs> Thank you, Elaine. We'll talk. Okay, see you next week. See you. Bye. All right, let me keep going. There's some people here, but their hands are not up. And Derek is, the other Derek is back. Uh, Bobby has been waiting. We got Asif. We got Canadian trader, you traveler. Guys, you got to put your hands up if you have a question. Um, so just so you know. So put your hands up if you have a question. If you can't find it, tell me in the chat. But So I don't know if you have a question or maybe you accidentally clicked it. Derek, you are back. What's up, Derek? Hello, sir. Sorry about that. Uh, I tried to show my face and then it's disconnected. And no, you like, can't show your face because it's, it's, it's just the audio, Derek. Yeah, definitely. Um, no, I was just asking. Um, so right now in the chat, we were talking, um, like, basically what I was saying before, like, when I got in November, like, I was, um, I did my research on, like, coins that I liked, like, Quan, Solana, stuff like that. But I, like, I was still in Solana when it was, like, $50, $60. But what I was telling um, the chat right now, like, with, in the Zoom call, in the Zoom call, um, I was basically saying, like, I, I feel like I diversified too much into coins, but, like, not enough to, like, let's say, for example, um, I put, like, two $300 in Solana, and then I, I kept diversifying only, like, hundreds, but not, like, thousands to, like, make, like, significant gains. Like, and I feel like right now I'm spread, like, too thin. Like, my most biggest bag, I'll be honest, is Quant. So, I love this. Damn. Are, are you the guy who asked the other question that I said I love? Uh, I have no idea. I got disconnected. <laughs> I hope so, though. So, what a question. The question Derek asked is, I am too diversified. I have a little bit of money everywhere. Now, here's the issue. And this, um, what I'm about to say goes against what majority of people tell you. And again, this is my live. You're watching my class. This is my thing, right? So, I'm just going to tell you my opinion. You diversify when you become absolutely beyond wealthy. That's when you can start diversifying. You don't do that in the early stages. One mentor, one strategy, master one strategy, learn one stock, one crypto, master at least one to three, and you can put it in there. Because if you were to put all of that that's diversified in all these different crypto coins, if you put it singularly in one, would you have a better return, Derek? Definitely. And I feel like that's also with life in general, like um, Steve Hart, well, like just in general, like do one thing until you're able to start venturing into other, like when you master it, how you said. So like for even in business, so like with crypto, like when we take our gains, we're going to have to insure them. So we're not just going to like waste them on dumb things. We're going to have to like, okay, now we didn't master crypto, but now that we took our gains, we're okay, now it's time to go into like another like market to go ahead and do the same thing, correct? Like that's how you just build wealth, correct? Like correct. You focus on one Get wealthy on that and then you keep your wealth by doing that with other different things. Derek, that's why my, my motto is one strategy, one mentor, one God for a reason, man. To push it as much as humanly possible. That's my job. I know everybody else is hold forever. Hold, hold, hold. God bless you. I am not in that game. We're all on different games. I resonate. If I, if I resonate with you and you come to me like, whoa, if I hit sell, I make money. And if I go back in, I, I do this at lower prices, go write it back, profit book. That's how you accumulate wealth, the power of compounding. People, yeah. my question, and you can say it in the chat because I know the answer already. This is the biggest frustration with traders, and me too. You hold a stock or crypto for too long and you're up so nicely because this is the most complaints I see in the DMs with people. Professor, I held for too long. You're right. I should have hit sell. I should have hit sell. You don't, and then you're back to square one again. And, and then eventually, and this is the part I hate, you get discouraged. And when you get discouraged enough, you become hater of trading. You become a hater of the stock market. You become a hater of anyone pushing an agenda of consistency and saying, go learn the right way. Just hit sell. And then you say, oh, it's a scam. Everything's a scam. The free court. Oh, it's a free court. Oh, that's a scam somehow. So you can't win, Derek. Just stay in your lane. One strategy, one mentor, master one thing. Because if you diversify too much, let's say you have like 10 mentors. Let's be realistic. Could that work out for you? No. If you have 10 different relationships with 10 different females, could that work out for you? No, especially in diet, 10 different diet plans. You have to stick to one, one singular diet, one singular workout routine, one singular. Just the, this, like if you want to be great, you're going to have to do things over and over. Consistency builds that. Correct. I'm sorry to realize that. Up. And that's all I say.
And it, if it irks you, hasta luego. Unfollow, unsubscribe. You can leave a hate comment. I like them. It actually makes me uh, uh, comment on it, engage with it, and let people know. So I like it. It helps me grow. It helps me become better. So I appreciate it. I haven't seen a hate comment in a long time on the live, so I appreciate it. Derek, did I answer your question? Yes, definitely. Also, just what you were saying. Also, I've been because I um I got into crypto first in November, but um I started doing all like option trading and same thing option trading. You watch the contract go up and you're just like ah, oh, you fumble a little bit, you get greedy. You're like ah, oh, it's, it's nice. I'm I'm positive for today now, but then you ride it all the way back down, and then some people like revenge trader. They're like, no, nah, it's gonna come back up. Like that's something that option trading has taught me more. Like hit sell when you're in profit. Like today in the morning, I had took two trades. Like because I'm barely um, my third week in trading. Um, in the morning, I was up good, uh, not good, but I was up profitable for a beginner, um, and I just held it. And then that don't say you were up good. Just, just say you made a little bit. You never, please, if you, if I could ultimately, for those of you watching and Derek listening, if I could resonate with you, one thing, just one thing. It doesn't even have to be trading related. But I'm just gonna be straight with you for something you could learn for your rest of your life. Stop telling people the money you make, the good you do. Just don't. Don't, I'm telling you as someone that does this online, don't let others know of your success. I know people say, no, you're supposed to. Listen to me. Just don't. And you'll see how you're much happier. Derek, I was on a vacation a few weeks ago. I disappeared. I didn't post on IG and I didn't go live. I don't know I if you... I saw you. I was watching. Whenever you did pop up, I was keeping up. I saw you like um, in the bikes. I just saw you in the taxi. I saw you. I saw those videos. So when I was... Tra there you go. When I was traveling, I barely posted. And I'm going to be straight with you. It was the happiest I've ever been. And I was like, what's going on? Why am I like more static? And I'm like, you, you didn't post anything. You didn't let anyone know who's sitting miserable in their little cubicle. Oh, this guy... Tra that's all he does is go there and there and there. I'm like, oh, damn. Let me chill out. That's why I, I take a one month off from IG. Not the lives. The lives always go on. But I take one month off. It's going to be from May to June. A full month where you won't see me post a story, a video, or anything on IG. Because I just want peace of mind. So you... you are, say it again. You need, you, need your, you need to rebuild your energy as well. Well, no, I have a team that manages it. At this point, it's not anymore. Like, I don't... Prior, when I didn't have a big team to manage it, it was cool. Let me sorry. It wasn't, it wasn't cool. I needed the break. Now, I don't really need to take it. But what I've noticed is, is when I'm not on it, spiritually, the attacks, the vampire, the attack, the vampires that suck your energy and put it out there to destroy you don't exist. All I'm saying to you is, I'm going on a tangent because I know what you said. Just say I made a little bit on my options trade today. Just say a little bit. Nobody's business. You, how old are you? 19? Um, I just turned 20, yes, I 20. You, as a 20 year old, if I could tell you one thing, I'm 36. So I have 16 years on you, my brother. You don't need to impress anyone. Nobody cares about you but themselves, especially your generation. They're only me, 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 me. Don't live up to it. Don't try to do that. I'm telling you, you'll be much happier once you realize that. That's why I love doing what I do. I could care less what the other side is watching, thinks of anything I'm wearing or saying or doing because um, let them go live three times a week. Let them post content seven days a week. Let them do what I do on a regular and see if they can handle it. Do you see what I'm saying? Definitely. That's why you have the community you have, though, because like we're all in the same. Like You block the negative, like, even if, if it comes. And then like the people who actually are on the YouTube comments, it was very engaging last week. Like It was the best I have seen, and people were interacting. Like, and it was good information. It was just very positive. No, that's what it is. The last week was phenomenal. And the beauty thing is, this is why eventually I don't engage unless it's something I need to, I like the two comments. I engage with them. I replied and I said, cool. So point being, you're here to learn and you, everyone wants a safe environment to learn. That's why I charge the prices that I do. By the way, I'll let you know right now, I spoke to the team. The sixth edition, it doesn't come out for a few years. So please don't ask when. I don't know when. But the sixth edition, there we go, haters, get ready. I'm going to give you new fuel, haters. The sixth edition will be $750 for the sixth edition book when it comes out because it cleanses the low lives, the low society. By the way, when I say low society, I'm not talking financially. I'm talking mentally and spiritually in the core of low. It wipes them out. They'll never come near me because I have never, David, sorry, Derek, as my witness and the common chat with past mentorships, as my witness, never once... With the, when I've been teaching my classes for a few years now, ever once have we had anyone cause issues within the class setting ever. Ever. 
well, it's just the type of people that don't want to take the chance on themselves, especially when you raise it that much. Like, if they're not going to buy the five hundred, uh, another $150 one, they're not even going to have the confidence, like, to even give themselves the opportunity. Like, they're not even the people in, how you said, in the court to take that, ch- like, you know, because they, it's not really just for, like, the, not, it's just for, like, I don't know, because I got your book and it really changed, like, I don't know, it's like your whole content, everything, it's just been, like, you really have to, like, indulge and be become it, you get me? Like, really be it. And the people who are, like, hating on the internet, they're not going to invest in something that they think they can't do. You got it. That's why I do it. It will never, there's one thing I want, is when the school is built, by the way, I might do a grand reveal on Saturday publicly. Uh, I'm going to start posting it maybe, maybe Saturday, Sunday. I haven't decided yet. But I might do a grand reveal Saturday, maybe. But point being, that's why I'm telling you as a young guy, 20 years old, when you start doing this, when you start going out there, people will come at you and say, <gasps> excuse me, people will come out and say, this doesn't work, this is a lie. Bro, I have people messaging the team. Bro, candles are a scam. That's not how you trade. Do you hear this, Derek? <laughs> that's all we need. That's, that's literally what we need. This is what I'm, no, no, no. But this is what I'm saying. You can't win. I got people saying that candles don't work. Why are you teaching? I, you can't win. This is what I'm trying to tell you. No matter what you do, you will never win with society. Indicators don't work. That was That's old. That's always been around. And what else do they say don't work? Guys, flood the chat. Flood the chat. What do people usually say? <coughs> Levels. Levels don't work. What else? <coughs> Damn, I need water. I want water. Levels don't work. Indicators don't work. What else doesn't work? I can't remember all of it. But excuse me. Recently, it's candles don't work. You can't win. I don't know what to tell you. So, boom. Anything else, Derek? I have one. Yeah, I just had one last question. Go. Maybe something for everyone. So the beginning of the the when Q and A was beginner um with um Bobby, it was um um beginner FOMO. So basically, like okay, so let's say something for beginners as well. Um, so maybe uh, if people aren't aware, they could learn this as well. I don't know if maybe you do this. I, I'm just asking. It's a question. I don't know if you've heard of like well, we can start with like wallets and then airdrops. Like um, so it was a beginner. So I feel like we should go over wallets, like um decent wallets. Pause. Like, pause right like, there. I did a live, Derek. I don't know how many years ago, but I did a live before. How long have you been following me? No, since like November, December. Oh, you're new. That's why. Oh, it's not your fault. You're new to me. I did a live on Instagram or YouTube. I don't remember. I, I've been fasting today, so my mind is not 100%, but I don't know where. My memory works well when I eat properly, so, you know, I've been fasting. I have done a live, bef- two different lives. This is before FTX. This is before any crypto broker failed. I did a live prior to it and I said, folks, listen very carefully. There's some shenanigans going on with crypto exchanges that I'm seeing and you need to put it into wallets and how to secure it. I actually did this live, I think a year or two years ago or maybe longer than that. So it's actually already been done. Either it's on the YouTube or somewhere in the 900 something videos on my Instagram. So it's already been done, my brother. I did it prior to any collapse of anything because I already saw what was going to happen. Yes, sir. Do your DYR. Do your own research. Okay, next one. What about airdrops? Maybe uh, some people, because some people, it's not only some people. That's not, that's not my world, my brother. I'm just trading. So that, see, here's the thing. Day trade professor. That's the only thing I focus on. The key word is trading. I don't like to go into something. For here's the thing: when people post, I'll uh, post. When people jump onto my channel, my Instagram, YouTube, whatever, Twitch, they know what they're gonna. They're gonna. They know what they're gonna learn. Correct? Yes, sir. They trading. Well, That's it. Trading. So if I started talking about, I don't know, real estate, dividends, um, cars. Um, I don't know what. I don't know what everyone talks about. Would people be like, damn, I didn't sign up for this. Why am I watching this live? You see what I'm saying? Definitely. So I stick to only the thing I do actively, that I'm, that I'm actively doing and that I've mastered, and that's all I do. I don't go into things that are not in my realm or not with my channel, Trade Professor. Definitely. Thank you. You're welcome, Derek. I appreciate you. Thank you, sir. I'll, I'll be on the next one for sure. Of course. Let's keep going. Bobby, let's go. Derek, put your hand down, please. When you guys are done, put your hand down so the next person can move up. After Bobby, it's Canadian Traveler. What's up, Bob? Oh, Bobby put his hand down. Oh, okay, Bobby. I just know I put it down because uh, so I don't forget to put it oh, down. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Bobby. Talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
this is an amazing life, by the way. Awesome. What? I appreciate so, that, but why? I, it's a regular life. I haven't done anything amazing. No, it's just it's just the the questions that people ask. A lot of times, it's something okay. that you might forget that you wanted to ask. Like I have a list, right? But there's a couple of other things that might be thrown in there, and I'm like, yeah, that's something that I was wondering at one point. And it's always good to hear other people's questions or or struggles or curiosity. And then it's just you're just like, oh yeah, that's something that I would love to refresh on. Pause. I love that you said that, Bobby. So pause on that, guys. Bobby just said he has a list of questions. People, listen to me. If you go to my YouTube, Daydream Professor, click on live. It says videos, live, playlist, whatever. Click on live. My entire video of my entire schedule from now to June, before I fly to Thailand, from now to June 13th is posted. You, I'll say that again. My entire live schedule is posted from now, we're in March, to June 13th. It's there. On the YouTube, you can click notify. You can get ready with your questions. These Q&A lives are religious now. Just look at the, excuse me. These lives are religious now. They're on the schedule. By the way, I keep burping. You see me doing that? Because I just had a big, um, I broke my fast. I had steak, Thai noodles, and um, um, kale. All right, Bobby, ask your question. That sounds fantastic, by the way. It was good. Uh, I love cooking. Like, I'm a beast at cooking. Like, you don't even want to know. Same, same. I break out the cast iron, and I'm, I'm golden. It's game over. Um, awesome. Yeah, I. so one of the questions that I have that has always been kind of lingering, I've gone back to the video tons of times, and, you know, maybe we'll cover it next week as well. Well, I know we'll cover it next week, too, but um, if I could practice it beforehand, sure. it would be awesome. So what it's good. It's, my question is about sport, uh, sport resistance or, or just levels in general. And my main question is, is the gap. The gap between each level. Pause. I get a little con Bobby, exactly. what you're asking me, and I love it. You ready for this, Bobby? Wait till next I time. am going to... No, 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 no. I am going to spend the entire Sunday doing just that, Bobby. Awesome. I am going to spend all Sunday of the class, the entire schedule. I will do the levels first, show you how I do my levels for pre-market. For our, yeah, my pre-market videos, and then you're gonna do it, and then I'm gonna ch I'm gonna I'm gonna check I'm gonna do it, and then I'm gonna check yours. Then we're gonna do a different ticker. Then I'm gonna you're gonna do it. Then I'm gonna check it. Then I'm gonna do it. Then we're gonna do another ticker and another ticker and another ticker. So Bobby, this is something get ready for. I got you. That's awesome because I you know it's something that I've mentioned to a couple people in the chat and even people that have in your past mentorships uh, like Dakota and JP I've talked to them on, on the side that's why you see them popping up saying my name because I'll talk to them on the side I've reached out and did my homework on you but <laughs> I love it I love I, I'm yeah. glad I'm, I love it I love it yeah and and they're great guys by the way of course but, uh, they are uh, who'd you wait who'd I you message treat, Dakota and who uh, JP Dakota and David is also so which David I got like so many Davids. Uh, Hutton. Hutton. Uh, By the way, thank you, boys. Whatever you said to him, thank you, boys. You the, you know I love you, boys. So I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, they're amazing. They're amazing, fan. and I can't wait to meet each one of them in person as well at some point. May pull up uh, in May. I think a lot of them are coming back in May. So pull up in May. That's what. That's what I heard. So that's the goal. But yeah, I just to just to respond to what you said. I, I actually find levels kind of like a video game. I, I really do. I like enjoy mm. it. I find like it's I'm just a complete nerd for that. So I go on there and I don't know why I'm just want to keep that momentum where it's just like, yeah, let's do levels. Like, you know what I mean? So it's not painful for me. So when you said that all Sunday and I heard you've been saying that, I'm like, I'm game for that all Sunday. No all problem. Sunday. I'll be, yeah, I'll be head into that. So um, awesome. So then I'll just hold off on on that one because uh, that'll be a perfect segue right into next Sunday. Done, Bobby. Thank you, my brother. Thanks, brother. You're welcome. Appreciate it. All right, next one. Canadian Traveler, ask me a question. You're on mute, Canadian Traveler. You got to unmute yourself. Gotcha. You hear me now? I can hear you now, my brother. How you doing? Pretty good, man. How you doing? Good, good. What's your name? Sinbad. Nice to meet you, Sinbad. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's kind of, it's not really a trading question, you know. So I got into crypto June 2022. It was a pretty good time to get in. Um, I, I sold my AVAX like around Christmas. I hit like the absolute top 48 US dollars. I was super happy. In late January, everything went down. I thought about getting more, um, you know, and I was going to rebuy my AVAX position. I didn't. Now, you know everything's boomed and then the last two days it's gone down but i didn't really notice 
But overall, what do you think, like, your perspective is on these next few weeks? Like, uh, are you bullish or bearish for Bitcoin? Or- so this was, expe- uh, how long you been following me? So you know what I'm about to say already. How long you been following me? Um, honestly, I just followed most of your socials today. Oh, damn. So then you won't know. All right. So- <laughs> yeah, on Instagram, I've been kind of following you for, you know, a couple months, maybe. Oh, so then if you've been following me on Instagram, then you know. I to- I said this was coming days ago, bro. I warned everybody. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Yeah. yeah. So I, I warned it because I-, I saw it. You have to understand there are levels to this. The market just cannot. I know, I know. There are people probably watching saying, no, no, no. That's fine, bro. I'm not here to please a lot of you. I'm here to please those that are on my frequency. If you notice a certain frequency, I can't take an American outlet and plug it into a Chinese outlet or in England. It's different frequency, right? Different watt is different electricity. So I'm not going to resonate with everyone, but... The market can't go up forever. It had to eventually, and it was at levels. It was at key levels. It was too much going on. So if you want me to answer your question, I'll go, I'll go deep into fundamentals. I don't want to go into this, but I'll go into it. If, when the Fed's lower the interest rates, asset classes will skyrocket to insane levels. Bitcoin's an asset class. Real estate is an asset class. They will rocket ship. But that's when the Fed's lower the interest rate. So let's see what happens on that. But this was a, a expected pullback because it just, I, I did it already. Yeah. I don't know if you're late to this live, I but if you, that much. say it again. I, knew it was, uh, I, I, I understood that it was like an expected pullback. My idea is that, you know, it hasn't broke resistance. So it's kind of like, you know, I, I could still keep holding. But most of these positions I bought were to hodl. Um, I have also, to pause. Pardon? So I pause on that. So you said it, Simbat. If you're someone who's, I'm assuming you're investing it forever, 10, 20 years, are you that type of person? I could be. Yeah. So let's stop right there. Let's stop the conversation. So see, this is, I, I love it. Thank you for coming on, Simbat. So someone like Simbat should, shouldn't be listening to me fully, fully, because I am not with that program, meaning I'm not teaching you, you can hodl, you can hold for 10, 20 years, of course. But I am for making money now to pay the bills now. That's what I'm for. I'm heavily into the trading, the garbage penny stock, shorting them. I'm into holding crypto from key level to key level, making 100, 200, 300% on those returns. Like, that's me. I'm not in it for 10, 20 years, Sinbad. Yeah, no, I hear that. That's just me. That's me personally. For sure. But, uh, all right, well, do you, do you have a speculation for, like, the next few weeks? Like, I mean, you know, pullbacks are expected, so... I need more time. If you want to realize, it's funny, I'll give you a story. My father said, because, you know, everything I tell you, I tell my father, he tells the family, he tells his friends. And if you go through my content long enough, you'll be like, I, I, hit, I hit numbers really well. And he goes to me, can you tell me what's going to happen with this next week? I said, no. He goes, so what? Yeah, yeah. I said, I could tell you today. I could tell you see my level videos, Sinbad? Uh honestly, bro, like I follow a lot of just like, you know, your type of content creators. So I've I've only really seen like a few things of yours and then today I actually just followed everything. I appreciate During that. This, yeah, I clicked on your Instagram live. I'm supposed to go live right now, actually, like on a on a couple other apps on You're a, you're an influencer TV. person? Yeah. Uh, I'm just a live streamer. I literally do it for a social life. You know? What do you do? What do you do? I, I, I'm into, I want to know. I, I, I just chill, bro. You know, like I literally just hang out on live. Send, do me a favor. DM me on IG. Send me your stuff. I want to go through it. Yeah. I mean, I'm just a traveler. So I'm bro, that's all I do. Content. That's all. I travel the planet six months out of the year with my crypto money, my stock trading money. Yeah, that's so sick, man. So that's the goal for me. You know, I've joined a course in the past. I want to learn the language, like you said. Like, it is a language. So come to my, listen, so come to my class in Thailand. I'm going to do, August is sold out. You can't come to August, but July is open. There's only four seats left. Yeah, I'm going to Brazil May, like late May to August. So, you know, I'm kind of occupied with that for now. Okay. Literally, you know, the live streaming is just chilling, man. Like, I literally just hang out on. Now, send it to me. I want to see it. I want to. I'm. In, I'm interested. You're one of my. You're. You know. You're someone who watches me. I want to see what you're up to. I'm down. Yeah, we're. You know, you'll see me chilling tonight. We're having drinks. You know, but uh, 
Yeah, no, I, I want to learn trading for sure, you know. Did you get my book? So cool and part of Did you read my book? No, man, no. Like, I literally, like, you know, just started, like, you know, dedicating myself to your channels today. Okay, so let me guide you then. You're going to start with my, don't pay me a cent. Don't pay me a cent, Simbad. I want you to start with my free course, okay? Daytradeprofessor.com, cool? Yeah, I, I have it open in my tabs right now. Let's go. I am going to. I want you to binge watch that the whole weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and then if you feel like it's for you, go through all my live videos, my playlist, and see, I'm going to go live on Sunday, 12 p.m., part three of Think and Grow Rich. Go through that stuff, and then if you feel like you want more crypto stuff and a whole bunch of stuff, then get the book, but those, I don't need, I'm a blessed man. Don't buy it unless you feel like you need to. Wait, Think and Grow Rich, like you're going through the book, Think and Grow Rich? Yes, sir. I'm on chapter seven or eight. Oh, really? I have the book, actually. So pull up on Sunday, my brother. Pull up on Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern. That's too funny. All right. Yeah, noon Eastern Sunday. Maybe, maybe. If I'm not too hungover, for sure. But uh, No alcohol. We're going to talk about that later, Sinbad. Alcohol is a vice, a poison. It's the devil's workshop. Right. They've used that to corrupt humanity and society. It does nothing for you, my brother. Try to wean off the alcohol. <laughs> right. You know, I, I would never deny that. It's absolute poison, but... People like it, <laughs> you know. I feel but, you. Uh, Maybe one day I'll give you a deeper lecture on that. I, I want to put you on the righteous path. No alcohol. No, for sure. But overall, you know, no speculation on these couple weeks, eh? I need, um, I need more time, Derek. We just fell. I need more time to do it. It, it just happened. I, I, no, I, w I would give you an answer, my brother, but I just need more time. I need more data points to give you further data. Right? Like, I follow so many people that I don't know how to trade. But I just listen to like you guys like and I just kind of like go with it. Derek, if I could tell you one thing, I'm mean, Derek, sorry, Sinbad, if I could tell you one thing, that needs to go. You need to get rid of all these people that you said you're randomly listening to and pick one. It doesn't have to be me. It could be. Oh, yeah, no, I, I gravitated, you know, I gravitate toward the guys that, you know, are good. And, you know, I'm, I'm starting to think you're one of them now. Thank so you. That's why I just. No, but here's the thing. They can all be good. I, I think the best of people. But my yes, thing is, you don't... There's a few I follow that are really good. Yeah, and they're, they're always, always hitting these points. And I'm like, fuck, oh, man. I got to learn it for myself. I got to dip my toe in and actually start day trading because I'm just a hodler right now just because my money's just been sitting there. And I'm like, you know what? I got to do something. I said, fuck it. At the worst time, like, when was it? Like, 2020 or something? I... Went big in the crypto, lost a shit ton, but I didn't lose it because I still am just hodling it. No, I, I love that you said that. You're a hodler, you're a holder forever, and you just realized, damn, I'm not making money on this. I got to make some money. And now you've oh, awoke, yeah. awoken to the truth. Been learning the mistakes too. Like I got into the crow token, like the crypto.com token. Oh no, not crypto.com. No. Way before the Super Bowl, because I'm like, oh, they're having a commercial. They're buying the arena. It's going to go up. But that's what you shouldn't do. You shouldn't buy right before the event, because that's usually the peak, apparently, is what I'm learning now. So I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Like, I should have waited till after and then got in, like, after everything settled down and stuff. But if yeah, you watch like, me long I'm enough. Simba, I'm going to let you go after this, but if you watch me long enough and you go back deep in my Instagram lives, I've hated crypto.com since the beginning. I've done lives where it was pumping and I said, um, they said, oh, it's, it's the name of the Staples Stadium. Oh, that guy did a commercial. I said, no, it's garbage. It's go it's going to it it's I, garbage. I the credit card, you know, I wanted the, phone. the credit card thing. I said, this is a garbage exchange. Go back far enough in my content. You'll see me mention it, but whatever. Simbad. Yeah, that was one of my first buys. You know, I'm like, fuck. I'm excited to meet you. I know one day we're gonna our paths will cross, my brother. Because if you're a traveler, I'm a traveler, and we're paths are gonna cross. Yeah, because true. once you are a mentor student, you can travel for free. With you just have to pay for excursions, but you, unless you want to live in the mansion with me, but you can travel for free and come and learn for free. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, bro. My my August mentorship. If you if you're living in the mansion with me, you have to pay. But if you don't, it's free. August. Literally, you don't have to pay a cent. How's it free? How's that work? Uh, 
How? What do you mean? Why? How is it free? It's you just free. Not like you fly us out there. Or? No, no, no. Okay. Well, good. No, good question. So once you take my New York class, I have my classes here until I move to Puerto Rico. Once you take my New York class, you're now part of the bandwagon of you can travel with me. Meaning, if you want, so I'll give you two scenarios. Uh, April, we're doing Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico, if you want to live in the mansion, you pay for the mansion stay. Of course, you live with me in the mansion. We live trade every day in the mansion, the whole nine yards. No, you pay for your own flights. But if you want to, you don't have to live in the mansion. You pay for the excursions. We're going to do lots of excursions. That's April, Thai, uh, Puerto Rico. August, Thailand. August. It, if you want to live in the mansion, you have to pay. But if you want to just come and live trade with me, it's free if you live outside. You don't pay a cent. You pay for your own flight. You pay for your own everything. Cool. But you can live trade and be around me for free because I'm doing Muay Thai at one of the top Muay Thai fight clubs. You can come and do it too. No, you don't have to pay anything. My brother, I'm You're a blessed man. Sorry? Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, uh, Sam, where in Thailand are you? you I don't want to say it on the live, my brother. I appreciate gotcha. you. <laughs> yeah. That's sick, man. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All Boom. right, well, I'm going to keep huddling, I think. You know, wait for some signals and we'll see uh, what happens. Hopefully, uh Hopefully it's all good, you know. I wasn't even paying attention, you know. The last few days I was like, ah, it's up a bunch. Today it's down. I'm like, I don't even care. Anymore. Because you're a hodler. That's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just for now, anyways. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn the language and get into it more. So. Boom, Mr. Canadian Traveler Simbat, I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, nice talking, buddy. I'll, uh, I'll stick around. I'm gonna head on live soon here, but you know, I'll, I'll be around. I'm following you now. So. Done. Done. Thank you. Next. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Next one. Um, Ravina, talk to me. You can unmute yourself. Because I think I, I, I think people are having problems with their hands up. Hi, Ravina. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Where are you coming in from? I'm coming from Canada. Welcome Thank from you. Canada. Well, I got a lot of love in Canada, man. People coming in from Canada. I know. You should come visit. What city? Vancouver. Vancouver. Okay, that's all the way on the other side. Mm -hmm. Got you. Yeah, well. <laughs> Go ahead, ask, ask your question. Um, well, the classes are only in New York, Ravina, so they're not happening in um, Canada. I mean, you could come here for other reasons. Valid. To Valid. Talk to me, girl. Ask me a question. Okay. Um, how do you deal with temptations with everything going on in your life? Can you be specific with that? Um, like women. Be more specific. The, yeah, it's too... Oh, you mean how do I not get distracted by the women in the red dress like from Neo and the Matrix? Yeah. Oh, that's easy. When you have a central goal, one goal, one mindset, and achieving that, the distractions cannot... They can't affect you. That's how it happens. Like, for example, how long you been following me? Because I don't see you on the YouTube live... Um, are you on the Instagram live? Uh, a few of them, yeah. Okay. So, how long have how long you been following? Uh, I think it's been like three years now. Three? Why, have you bought the book? I did, yeah. I appreciate that. Why aren't you in the class for New York? <laughs> just doesn't work with my schedule. All right. So now, here's the thing. You need to understand that the thing that you want, what is something that you truly want that it's the distraction? That, by the way, it's not just females. For people, distractions is weed. Distractions is any kind of drug. Distractions is alcohol. Distractions is multiple mentors, multiple strategies. These are all distractions. So for me, nothing has ever distracted me because I have a central vision. And let's see, if you've been following me long enough, then you know what my vision is. What is my, what's the, and by the way, chat, flood the chat. What is the only thing I want? Let's see if you're truly a loyal follower. What is the only thing I want? Your school in Puerto Rico. That's it. So you know, then, then you've been watching long enough. So what, my school in Puerto Rico. That's it. I can't let anything d distract me. It's too big of a purpose because the school is not really for me. Yeah, I have it. Yeah, I'll make money off of it. But at the end of the day, it's going to help other people make money too because I don't have a school if there's no students. For example, you're watching this live, you saw me. I can't have a live without you guys, correct? Mm -hmm. So that's why I don't let that distraction get to me. Okay, that's fair. What is your distraction, Ravina? Uh, seeing you on lives. Oh, Lord. 
Woman, there's not that kind of life. I mean, we can make it that kind of life. How is seeing me on live a distraction? I'm here for one. Remember, I'm the professor, not the pimp. <laughs> I mean, you could be both. No, 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 no. Listen, you're here to learn. You're here to learn. I, mean, I am learning. So that's it. This shouldn't be a distraction. It should be separated, woman. <laughs> you're very attractive, and you know how to dress. And you I, know how to I appreciate I it. I appreciate it. The chat, I don't know if you're looking at the chat, but people want you to block you. They want you to be blocked. Why? I don't know. Who said block her? Ronald? I think I it's the I think Ronald said block her. Ray says block her. Canadians are super nice guys. I know Canadian. Listen, I've traveled the planet and Canadians are the nicest people of all time. I can't see the chat at all. You can, it's on the YouTube, not the Instagram. The chat for Instagram is off, but the YouTube chat is open. Oh, there's a YouTube chat. No. Yeah, if you go to YouTube, uh, YouTube Day Trade Professor, the live is over there. That's where I'm interacting, not the Instagram. Got it. Uh, Ronald said this is a distraction. Can you ask? No, but Ronald, I'm going to be straight with you. Yes, your question is about distraction. Let's go from, from a man. I'm not talking to you for a second, Ravina. But those watching, that's men. If you are on a purpose, if you are on a purpose, you can't get distracted by the woman in the red dress. For example, what color are you? What, are you wearing a dress or outfit right now? Yeah. What color? Maroon. Maroon. Okay, she's wearing a... You can't get distracted by the woman in the maroon dress. You just cannot. Like the chat saying blocker, they're laughing, they're fire emojis, a whole bunch of... Is the classroom agreed? Get rid of her. Damn, they really want you off. Okay, I guess I'll leave that. No, 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 no. this is my classroom. She's the devil. <laughs> That's not be nice. The vo that voice got me distracted. They're saying block her because you said block everyone. That but she's not, dis uh, Maria Guzman, Maria, she's not distracting anybody though. She didn't say anything like not uh, out of line. But any, any other questions, Ravina? Because you've been with me for three years. Now, here's the question, though. Seriously, if you've been three years, what do you, uh, crypto stocks for? I don't know. What do you do? I don't, don't day trade. I've just, like, hold crypto. Which crypto coins? Um, honestly, I have to check my portfolio. It's okay. You could check it later. But here's my question, though. Why aren't you in the classroom learning these things? I did. I did your, your, um, your couple day training. No, I'm that. talking in person, woman. I'm talking in person. Because I have a job. I work. So now if you were serious enough, could you take time off three? You can't take three days to come to a class in New York. I only get two days off, but yeah. Can't you can't. That. See, this is what I'm. I love this. Ravina, this is perfect. This is perfect. See, this is the thing, people. What do you do? What's your job? I'm a nurse. You're a nurse. Perfect. Oh, yeah. You guys are busy. My brother's a doctor. I know nurses. You guys are busy. Now, can that hospital shut down? Can they let you off? Um, well, yeah. Like, if I can request time off. Are you not fearful of that? Sorry? Are you not fearful of them letting you go? Uh, no. They need me. They, you're or that sure. So let me ask you this them. question. And let's talk in code because I don't want to get in trouble. During the COVID virus, did were, were how were you uh, were you uh, uh, were you a nurse back then? Yeah. And how was everything for nurses and doctors at that time? Was that a safe environment in the heat of the vi uh, virus? Not afterwards. I'm talking the heat of it. How did you feel going to the hospital every day? Um, it was hard. It was really challenging. So now, God forbid, I don't know what you believe in. I'm not going to go into that. But do you, do you know about the two zero three zero agenda? Two, zero, two, three, no. Okay, so I'm not going to go into it now, but if you want, go through my IG lives, find it. It's there somewhere. When I was in Morocco, you'll see a board. I was on a chalkboard and I broke it down. I want you to understand that there's an agenda to shut things down and make people sick. And of course, that's your business. Not saying your business, the pharmaceutical industry's business to make people sick so they can go to you and all that. But you don't want to live in a fear. During the heat of the virus, did you not enjoy being at home? Um, I don't know if you were maybe sometimes. Sorry, wrong, wrong way of saying it. Would you not rather be at home making money? Of course. 
So then, all I'm telling you is, and you don't have to come to the class if you don't want to. It's not that. It's just that I'm, you've been with me long enough. A lot of you have been watching me long enough. And I appreciate you getting the book. But you got to eventually make the move. Because I'm assuming you haven't sold any of your crypto you bought a years ago. I'm assuming. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So... Do you know how much money you could have? I've been in and out. Do you know about my Matic trade that I trade Matic? I told people to buy at a cheap price. Do you know about this? I don't know. No. Okay. I told people, go back on my YouTube live, and I told people to buy Matic 54, 54 55, 56 cents. And it's at a, it went to $1.30 almost. Imagine you could have inter traded that within. Could you not have compounded your gains, Ravina, from Canada? Yeah. So then... I have a lot more to learn. So then, you need to take an... Let me ask a question. And I, and I know this is... People saying you're giving her too much attention, Professor. Folks, she's asking valid questions that doesn't have to always be trading. It has to be about taking life seriously. There is an agenda to destroy the population. That's why there are cancer-causing, sperm-reducing chemicals to make sure that you can't reproduce. Are you married, single? What's your situation, Ravina? I'm single. Okay, so now, do you want to have kids in the future? Uh, yes. Well, don't you want a man who's fertile, who's not been destroyed by the, the estrogen-mimicking hormones and all the plastics? Yes. So then, my point is, when's the last time you took a vacation? Uh, like three, four years. You're lying. You're, that's a lie. Oh, God. You're trying to tell me you haven't left Canada or visited or did something relaxing in three, four years. Yeah, I'm a nurse. I have bills to pay. Understood. All right. All right. All right. But maybe, maybe I'll make a few days um, to come to New York. Then. See, that's the thing, though. See, I like that you said that. I appreciate it because my schedule for the whole year is there. During the virus, you Canadians, you know how many Canadians were fighting with me saying, Professor, when I started the physical classes, Canada, or didn't, remind me, because I fasted today, my memory's not 100%, but just confirm with me. Did Canada lock you guys down and you weren't allowed to leave? You could leave, but if you came back, you have to go through all this crazy protocol? Yeah, and like stay in a hotel and everything. So there, I knew it, see? Now you can freely move. Are you waiting for Trudeau to shut it down again? Yes. No, I'm serious, you're laughing. I'm dead serious right now. No, I doubt that's going to happen. You, so wait, you said you doubt they're going to shut it down again? Yeah. Oh, girl, you got so much to learn. I work in the hospitals. I know the COVID numbers. No, no, no. Don't say that word. Don't say that word. Say the virus. Say COVID or say the virus. Don't say. That's not the point. That's not... No, no. If you think they can not shut it down, then Ravina, I don't know what to tell you, girl. They are strategically working to destroy the population and limit you in smaller cities so you cannot travel. They're eventually, I'm going to get in trouble, but whatever, man. They're going to eventually do something called carbon taxes. They're going to tax you based on where you travel, where you go, and then limit you from going over too much. You're going to basically go back to the feudal system. Do you know about feudalism? No. Damn, people don't know their history. What's Trudeau teaching you in Canada, woman? Clearly nothing. Clearly nothing. And I'm giving you the lesson right now. Feudalism, when the Roman Empire collapsed, cities, areas had to go back to a feudal society where there was a king, a lord, a manor, and people lived in small lands. They had peasants. The word peasant, serfs, working from the land of the lord the king gave to. So the lord used that land to give it to peasants to farm and give them tax revenue. They did not want you to travel. You were not free to travel. You were in... How many paychecks do you get, Ravina? Right. How many pay? How many paychecks do you have? Like how many? Uh, how many paychecks do you get? Meaning, how many streams of income do you have? Oh, um, two. What's the second one? If you can talk about it. Rental income. Right. Okay. So you also oh, you're into real estate. Yes. Do you follow one of my favorite guys, Full Auto Eleven, Gerald Peters? I I will now. Yes. Yeah. Go follow Gerald Peters. I love Gerald Peters. People, be nice during the comment section. If Are you watching the comment section? I'm not. I, I oh, can't see the comment section. Okay, ignore, listen. D d if you watch this later, you see the comment section. Guys, be nice. She's, uh, uh, Ronald, she's a fraud. 
we know that how is she a fraud she's not selling me anything she's just asking about distraction and she needs a history lesson folks ronald be nice i think i ronald jones are you i i think i know who you are be nice ronald she's not a fraud she slipped up by accident be nice ronald she didn't say anything out of line be nice so see this is why we need people females so see they sorry what'd you say I don't know why people are getting so offended. They need to relax. No, no, no. It's not that they're offended. It's I know, I know what it is. I know my students. They're just trying to protect me. They have a feeling that you're saying things to get me to do stuff. That's all. He's looking after me. But you're a grown man. No, 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 no. I know, but they, they love me, girl. I'm loved. I'm, I'm, I, my students, I do so much for them. They love me. So don't take it the wrong way. You know, we need girls coming on the live. I think you're the first. No, sorry. You're like the third female ever to come on the live. So don't take it the wrong way. Okay, I'm yeah. to take my dogs out, so it's been real. All right, uh, so... Have a good night, everybody. All right, have a good night. Thank you, Ravina. <laughs> Fardeen Khan, don't get black, uh, blacked. Don't get blocked. Don't spam the chat, Fardeen Khan. With Professor, 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 Professor. You scared her away, boys. You scared her away. All right, next person, Muhammad. Muhammad Fahim, come on down. Yes, sir. How are you doing? I'm good, Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum, my brother. Assalamu alaikum. Happy Ramadan. Happy Ramadan. How you doing? Good, 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 good. Talk to me. What's up? Yeah, man. Uh, you know, I, I'm doing like a Robin Hood thing option for almost one and a half years. But mostly I'm losing. So I was trying to find someone like you uh, to help me with uh, my, uh, you know, my Robin Hood thing, the trading. So I found you and uh, I saw your videos on YouTube. It was fantastic, you know, all those live classes. So I live in Belgium and I cannot... Another person from uh, that area? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard that again. The other female from Netherlands. So uh, she was there too in the live. Get her and YouTube, you, get her Instagram, link up. I, I got your Instagram just right now. Uh, I found you and I, uh, I, li I followed you. So... As I said, mostly I'm losing. So let me I'm stop like you. Mohammed Fahim, let me stop you, bro. Let me help you out. Number one, yeah. you're doing Robinhood options, zero DTEs. Is that what you said? Yes. Like options, uh, like a call. In How long have you been trading? Uh, almost like, a, okay. Uh, full time, I'm doing it like a, almost five, six months. But I'm on Robin Hood on trading thing like for almost uh, one and a half year and stuff. My brother, so you got to, you got to stop with the option zero DTE. You have to stop that immediately. Do you know why I said that? By the way, before I say it, chat flood it. Why did I say, by the way, Fardin Khan, I had to block you. You kept spamming my chat. Professor, professor, you're like going crazy in the chat. So I had to block you. Why do you think chat? I told Fahim, Mohammed Fahim, why he should get off of doing option zero DTE. Flood the chat. Do you know why before I tell you, Mohammed? Yeah, no, I didn't know. Why do you think I'm telling you not to do that? I think, as, as you said, uh, like uh, uh, 20 minutes or 15 minutes ago, you, you said something really uh, good for, uh, for new traders like me. You say that those candles, those charters, it's not, is, is not real, it's fake. So, uh, wait, 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 what's fake? The, 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 the candles... The no, candles, the candles are real! No, it's real, but it, it, whenever I see the, the, the candles which is go up, it go down. <laughs> so I'm losing on that. Look at the chat. For, are you watching the YouTube live, Mohammed? Yeah, I do. Look at the chat, what they're saying. Learn how to trade with shares first. Too volatile. Has to learn the stocks first. Options, you can lose money quicker if you don't know what you're doing. Straight to zero so quick. Too fast, too risky. My brother, you can do options. It is the hardest part of trading is options, especially zero DTE. Uh -huh. You got to learn the basics, shares, slow movers, one strategy, master that. You have to have an edge. A lot of you have no edge with trading. I could teach you levels all day, but if you don't have an edge, you don't have a strategy, what the hell are you going to do? That's what it is, That's Muhammad. True. That's true. That's true. I I found uh, your website and I'm trying to join. Do you have like a, I was asking that do you have, do you have like any online classes or something? So if you go to daytradeprofessor.com, if you see the bottom right there, you go to the daytradeprofessor.com. There's a free course. 
you could start with that, Mohammed, and then from there, yep. order the book. And then when you're ready and you feel like there's something more, then you got to come to New York, my brother. Then you got no choice. If you really want to be in front of me, get on the secret Instagram, get, know what I'm doing, all the stuff, my travels, and you can come with, that's the only way. Uh, for sure, I, I, I'll do that for sure. I'll, I'll try to uh, go to like the, the free course on your, uh, on your website. Spend the weekend doing that. When I end the live, spend the weekend doing that. Ah, okay. Oh, that's perfect. Boom. Uh, that, that's really good. That's really good. I'm going to get that one. And, I'm, and I got your Instagram and stuff, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send up something on Instagram to you, like a high thing, so you can have my... You know, I really need help on this thing. I got you. My only thing I do before you go off the live, stop with the Z zero DTE, my brother, please. I know it's fast the money, but it can also go to zero just as fast. Exactly. Okay. That's, yeah, that's a good information. And remember, right. I'm, I'm not selling you nothing. I literally said, don't pay me. Use the free course. So do you understand that? Exactly, exactly. I heard that. I have nothing to gain from you, and I'm telling you. And if if, if it's not for you, go. That's it. Don't send. You didn't pay anything. You didn't waste any time. You got some information, and I saved you some steps. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Thank you very much, Professor. You're welcome, Mohammed. Assalamu alaikum, my brother. We'll talk. Assalamu alaikum. Happy Ramadan. Welcome, some happy Ramadan. Oh, now they want her to come back. Ravina, if you're watching, look what they're saying now. Mark Torres, bring the nurse back. Guys, make up your mind. Make up your mind. I'm upset at some of you. I'm upset at some of you. Not nice. You guys upset her and she left. You guys went a little too crazy in the chat. Kick her off, kick her off, kick her off. She asked good questions. She literally asked a great question. Professor, how do you not get distracted? And I said, by what? By women. How do you not get distracted by them? Uh, my vision is the school. The vision is the school. That's how. How do you get the secret Instagram? You have to be a mentorship student. Let's keep going. Anybody, any new names here? Nobody's hand is a Canadian. I think he probably just left his name hand up, but. All right. I guess that's a wrap. I appreciate you all watching the live. Wait, we don't end it like that. We don't end it like that. We're going to find a quote, baby. We're going to find a quote. Let's find a random quote. Let's go. Let's see. Ooh, there's some good ones here, but I'm trying to see something that connect for tonight. Here we go. All right, let's go. We'll do one quote. Chapter 34, verse 18. We had also placed between them the cities. We showered with blessings many small towns within sight of one another. And we set moderate travel distances in between, saying, Travel between them by day and night safely. But they said, O oh Lord, make the distances of our journeys longer, wronging themselves. So we reduced them to cautionary tales and scattered them utterly. Surely in this are lessons for whoever is steadfast and grateful. Here's the thing. We showered them with blessings. Many of you, flood the chat if you are profitable when it comes to crypto or stocks, Forex. Flood the chat. If you made any good money trading crypto, if you made money from MyMatic, from the Mara, from PLTR, from, I don't know, I've said so many. People literally DM randomly saying, this video, this level you said on the, this stock you said, this crypto you said on the live, Portfolio Management Live, I got in, like that guy who posted uh, two days ago, said the DM, he got into Mara at seven something. I mentioned on my portfolio lives, if you go far enough. And it went all the way to the 30s. He never sold. Now he's, you know, he's up, but still. That Lahaba Joey, the guy who bought a house from the prophets from Matic because of what he learned from me. If you're one of those people that has made money, any one of those, take a percentage of that and help people. You're like, you never show it. I'm never going to show you who I help and what I do. The charity stuff I do behind the scenes. Bro, I, now I'm not going to say too much. I do heavily stuff with my profits, but you never see them. I, you, you're not going to. It's not your concern. Plus, you wouldn't believe it anyway. Everyone, some of you watching think everything's fake, so you can't win. But point being, I wish I could show it to you, but God said, do with the left hand so the right hand doesn't even know what you're doing. 
And I'm a big believer in not telling people or showing people what I do. I just make the moves behind the scenes. That's why I'm blessed with the success that I have. So if you want the blessings, your mom, your dad, close family that needs money, and then the poor, pick your choice. My choice is the homeless. Do that. Give back. I promise you're going to be consistent. Don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about those that are going to push you on distractions, deviate you. That's the devil. Like the nurse's question about distractions, the woman in the red dress, don't get distracted by the woman in the red dress. Don't get distracted by people saying indicators don't work. Um, what is it? Levels don't work. What else doesn't work? Candles don't work. Stock market doesn't work. Cryptocurrency is a scam. To people in the real world, everything's a scam. That's why they're broke financially, physically, mentally, spiritually. That's literally why they're broke. Because they think everything is a scam. They've fallen into the victimhood of everything. They think everything is racism. They think everyone's out to get them. They think they can never win. All I'm saying is don't live like that. Don't live in a world where you think everyone is out to get you. Everything is fake. My suggestion is find those that are your frequency. Who you frequently see, you vibe with. I'm here three times a week now. Three times a week I'm here until I have to leave for Thailand. I'm doing 10 parts of my um, Think and Grow Rich series, Sundays, 12 p.m. I'm going to move that to 8 p.m. By the way, flood the chat. What's a good time for the Sunday lives? I've already said Sunday, 12 p.m. for this live. But do you guys want a different time for the Sundays? Let me know. Do you want them to be 8 p.m. across the board? Let me know before I leave to Thailand in June. I'm going to be doing those lives Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Unless I have a mentorship, I can't do it. Yes, sir. Made money on Mara, Matic, PLTR. Your guidance is priceless. Um, stocks. Um, do you suggest some 2x3? Don't do that if you're a new trader. I appreciate these lives. So that's my piece. That's my piece for you guys. But let me know in the chat. I do want to know, do you want a specific time for the live? For the live. Let me know if you have a specific time. Because I'll do it. I'll change it starting two weeks from now. I, prefer, I probably prefer 8. That's because I'm a maniac. 10 p.m. Do you write off donations? Some of my no donations can't be written off. They're too big. Some of the things I do are way too big. Like certain things I do, it's not cash. It's other things too. And plus, a lot of it's international charities. I'm not talking about it publicly. Sunday, 12 p.m. Like market makers, they know your stops and take profit. Boom. 2 p.m. Mountain time. I don't know what mountain time is, Liz. I'm in the East Coast. What's your skincare routine? Reverse osmosis, alkaline, mineral water. That's it. I'm a grown man. I'm a man, man. I don't have a skincare routine. I just drink pure water, non-GMO. My meat is flown in. I eat steak. I don't eat cereal. I do exact opposite of what the government tells me to do when it comes to eating. I'm not eating cereal. I'm not using canola oil. I'm not using GMOs. I don't eat fast food. It's really simple, folks. Just eat clean, pure. I don't do drugs. I'm on a 30-day no sugar thing. That's about it. But I do eat cookies. But I'm on a 30-day no sugar. Is it East time? I'm on the East Coast. 7, 8. All right. So majority says 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 8. All right. Not this week. Because I already said I'm going to do it. I'm not changing that. But starting two weeks from now, I'll move it to 8 p.m. Done. I'm down. I don't care. I hope I can get the platform problems sorted. KuCoin and Binance only seem to be working. Understood. Me too, buddy. I have the Kagan. I got to get that for my parents before I leave. My parents need some filtration. I got to get that for them. You should buy a hydrogen water bottle and start putting your alkaline water in there. I got to look more into that, Sinbad. I've heard of those. All right. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for joining me. Be nice to the nurse if he ever comes back. Be nice to any female who comes back. Just be nice. May peace be upon you all. See you Sunday, 12 p.m. Not to be missed. Let's go.